It is crunch time. Hi everybody. It's it's me, Steven, at my very normal setup that I'm always at every week. This is it. This is the place. Hi everyone. My, my attic looks so nice. Uh, you'll have to um, let me know if the uh, audio is uh, bad so I can sympathize with you and then move on. <laughs> I mean, I, so like, what I could do, what I what I could do, is it loud that I can fix? Maybe. If I if I if I talk, the music is loud. Oh, it's probably because I'm soft. Okay. Well, let me turn. I can turn the music down. Let me turn the music down a little bit. All right. How about that? Is that better? Yeah, it sounds like you want the music down, and I'm fine. If that's the case, then you're in luck, because I can lower it by 5.6 decibels. Anyway, hi. Um, uh, I am currently here in... A, a, mm, Somewhere, where is this? Sorry, I'm trying to figure where, I'm not trying to figure out where we are. Where are we? That's weird. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. My, my, <laughs> my favorite thing about the fridge is that I look particularly <laughs> Like, this is, a, I want everyone to know this is a normal size fridge. This is six feet tall. Um, I just grew a lot recently. <laughs> oh, God. At some point, it, it, this is, yeah, this is, a, this is a Friday night, like, gaming stream, but the game that we're going to play today is called Steven Eats some food. That's the game. It's uh, a bit of a different game, but as far as I'm concerned, it still counts as a game. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, it is only me, uh, and I'll, I'll talk, I'll, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about what's going on. I don't have to guess, like, all of you forever. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, so yeah, Sound. Hold on. I don't know that that made. I don't know it made a sound on my end. Did it make a sound on my end? Hold on. Let me make sure I'm hearing alerts. It is making audio stuff. I don't think I can hear alerts for some reason. And I'm not sure why. Oh, actually, actually, I do know why. I know exactly why, and I can fix it. Did that? F Hold on, do I have to press a button to make that happen? All right. All right. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to hear them now. Mm, the answer might be no. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I see the setting that needed changed. And I changed it, but I guess you can't change it while you're live. I, I, I guess. Well, dang. Alright, well, the fact that you guys can hear the stream is the most important thing but I can't hear I can't hear alerts so um <laughs> whatever <laughs> I would have to restart the stream in order to in order for me to hear the alerts and that's you know 
It's a lot. Like, I can see that there's going to be an Eddie. I just can't hear Eddie talk. Stop hesitating and start snacking with Tiny Eddie's Donut Wrapped Fudge and Raspberry Milkshake. Okay, so <laughs> the way that I know that that happened oh, is you. that I can watch the, uh, I can watch the audio meter and like when it's done moving, I'm like, all right, that alert's over. That's very, so that is an interesting thing because, uh, on the Windows version of OBS, I can change that live. On the Mac version, you can't. Okay. Well, maybe they'll add that one day. Um, so that was a uh, thousand bits from Slick Duke. It says, Eddie, what snack do you have for Steven while he's eating in the attic? Donut wrapped fudge and raspberry milkshake. Donut wrapped fudge and raspberry milkshake. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Like, sorry, I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint you a very clear image of this because we rarely get something that sounds this delicious to me. It is a like a fudge, like a chocolate fudge, and raspberry milkshake with chunks of donut in it. That sounds really great. I love that. You know how you can get the uh, what is it, the blizzards or whatever, and they put stuff in it. Just put a donut in there. We had Itsy Bitsy Spider play yesterday. I don't know why this is still playing. I'm gonna leave it alone though. Slick Duke, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, I can see that there's a 16 alert, but I can't hear it. I am immune today. I don't know which one you guys got. <laughs> Which, which one did you get? Is it Chaz T? No. The gun with a silencer, yes. Truly, truly, it's a silencer. We got 1600 bits from Jace Book, says, because I'm Shigastin. I think I got that right. <laughs> Jace Book, thank you. Let me, uh, let me read some alerts, and then uh, I am going to eat some food, because uh, um, I need to eat. And I also am going to explain what's going on and why it's just me, because it's just me. Ain't nobody else here. And uh, that's because um, I'm a tired boy. I can hear the songs. Like I can hear, well, not songs, I can hear music. Don't send in, don't send in a song. I cannot, I, can, I mean the only way I would be able to try and sing an alert song is I would see the alert start and then just have to mentally try and do it to in sync. And that seems really hard. It's like, I won't be able to hear the music, so I would just be like, uh, probably this. What is happening to the music? What, why did we? What? This is, no. Go to something else. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that's happening. <laughs> Why is all of this the music that's playing? <laughs> yeah, it's a friggin' nursery rhyme stream. Okay, let's let's actually read alerts. Vagabond gifted us up to Malye. We had 50 months from Josh A. Brom, seven months from Pink Gelatinous Friend, 50 months from One True Zeering, 25 from the Let's Play Baseball Curse, 59 from Jamie2286, 300 bits from Ninmaning says, How is the attic? How many rooms does it have? Um, so the place that we're staying is actually it's it, the Airbnb is is two places, kind of. Like it's 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 there's a downstairs and an upstairs, but the they're not connected internally. It's like outside doors. So you have to go into one or the other. So um, downstairs is uh, me and Mao and Alex and Haley. And then upstairs is um, 
Thomas and Brittany and Brandon and Chaz. That's the that's the setup. There's two bedrooms downstairs, but there's three upstairs. So Chaz and Brandon each get their own rooms, which is cool. And uh, as you probably suspected, as is the case in a lot of uh, places like this in uh, Japan, um, they're they're. Twins, or is a twin bed the same as a single bed? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Flux, <laughs> but listen. I don't know, man. If you see, if you see tiny fridge, and you see Japanese written everywhere, I don't know how much more. <laughs> what else I can do? Uh, we had 64 months from Jizak, 50 months from Nissa M5. 22 months from uh, Aino, Aino Monaco, 42 months from Desi Desitel, 45 from Statman, 34 from Blaze, 23, 1, 2, 4, 56 months from Paper Spyro, 21 from Kyromech, 33 from Anna Banana Bread, 34 from Scatman Scabadop, 66 from Bloop 64, 48 months from a person, dude, one. Congrats on the four. 52 months from Seraphim 2000, 300 bits from Caruso says, watch out for this clown in the attic. Yeah, so yesterday on Breakfast Stream, we streamed live from the Houston airport, and I uh, just told everyone that it was the um, sunroom. <laughs> it's like, this is the sunroom. <laughs> it's like intercom, there's PA messages. <laughs> Behind me are airplanes. <laughs> like, this is the sunroom. It's a really good Breakfast Stream. Um, I will try and get... That VOD, I actually have that, I think I uploaded the VOD. I think it's just not out yet. Anyway, I'm gonna keep reading some things. <laughs> he lied like a liar. 20 months from Markster, 35 months from Blue Hippie. Dishnet gifted a sub to Attic. This is my attic. This is my attic. My attic is in Japan. It's, it takes a long time to get to my attic. And that's, that's really the big problem. We had uh, 58 months of tier three, uh, subby from Mike Bliss. Mike, thank you. Uh, Maya Hello gifted a sub to uh, Ohio Gazamas. <laughs> Three bits of man. This says Steven has become a kaiju. We all knew it would happen someday. I'm 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 big and ready to eat. I don't know a whole lot of Japanese. I know exactly what I need to get by. And that's fine. What was what, what it I know? Uh, 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 arigato gozaimasu. Uh, uh, kore. What is, uh, uh, what is please? <laughs> Uh, onigashimasu. That's it. I was told not to use konnichiwa. I was like, konnichiwa? And Chad was like, no. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, no one says that. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Fair. Um, what else? That's it. Oh, sumimasen. If you need to get by, um, is it a Taurus tie? I guess it's a Taurus tie. Have you seen Chaz? Yeah, Chaz was actually here like two minutes before the stream started. I had st I started the countdown for the stream. I didn't I didn't know anyone was coming in, and then Mao and Chaz showed up, and they were gone again before the um, the thing went. The, the countdown was over. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how to ask where the bathroom is? Uh, it's uh, toilet is uh, tode, right? Um, like I have no concept of like sentence structure, and I am not going to learn that. But um, uh, that's fine. Like, I, so the, the other thing is that, like, technology good now, so, like, you can translate things on a phone if you really, really need it. And I, I basically, anytime I've ever been in Japan, it, the amount of times I've needed that is, like, so small. 
so small. Because there's a lot of English around anyway. Um, like a lot of the, the signage has English. Uh, if you're on the train, the train is J Japanese and English. Um, it's not it's not super difficult, especially in Tokyo. Uh, it's not super hard. We this trip we are going to be going into uh, the country, um, so maybe it'll change a little bit, but we'll see. I love people arriving just a little bit late and expecting us to have, have Zelda up, and they're like, "What's happening?" We're gonna move to the country and eat a lot of peaches. That's the plan. Dishnet gifted a sub to Nippon. Caruso sent 300 bits and said, Clown fridge. Yeah. It's a tiny fridge. For anyone who came in late. Fridge. And then Steven for scale. It's good fridge. <laughs> good little fridge. Dan! Hey Dan, Dan, are you, are you at, Dan, are you at my house <laughs> right now? I think, I think you'd be at my house right now. I'm pretty sure. Um, Jeff and Dan are taking care of Kepler. So, um, Jeff, oh, just got back. We stream it soon. Kepi's doing well. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, Jeff and Dan are taking care of Kep. Uh, Vosik says, Haley says hi. They are on the train to head to the flea market. Neat. Uh, yeah, I, I saw Alex and Haley before they left. So. Dan says, Kepi pees a lot. Dude, that boy's a little fountain. Which is good, right? One of the, one of the things that the cats can have is, um, they can have issues like not getting enough water and uh, um, issues like with, with, with hydration. Not Kep. Kep drinks. Yeah, the radio trend says, I remember you calling Kep a piss cannon once and I absolutely lost it. That boy's a little piss cannon. He really is. He drinks so much water. So he, no, no urethral obstructions for Kep. No, he's, doing, he's doing quite well. Um, but yeah, if you've if you've never scooped Kep's litter box before, it can be very alarming on a daily basis. Like how much piss there is. You're like, oh, this is wow, this is a lot. He just likes to drink. So uh, yeah, Jeff is Jeff is doing mornings and Dan is doing evenings. And the evening the evening they they both have differences. The morning one is the uh, is when you have to give Kep medication. And uh, so Jeff is doing that because Jeff has way more cat experience because Jeff lives with cats. Um, so he's, he's doing the pills and then the evening is uh, uh, scooping the litter box. So Dan has to feed Kep. Both of them have to feed Kep but Dan scoops the litter box. Yeah. So shout out to Dan. I'm assuming Dan's probably scooped a cat's litter box before because he told me that he when he was younger, he watched his neighbor's cat, I think. So, yeah. Wildfire says, doesn't Chaz live with cats too? Yes, I mean, all the cats. Chaz, Chaz I mean, Chaz is the one who got the cats. Vents or Nelspeth? I wonder, Chaz might have been dating Jeff by the time Chaz got Koth, but I don't remember. I'm not sure, but yeah. The difference is Chaz is in Japan, so Chaz can't uh, Chaz can't take care of the, uh, the cats from a distance. It would be hard. Uh, okay, if I go back to alerts. 27 months from Rising again. 500 bits from Midnight. Nights. Is, have you or Mal got the Animal Crossing Legos yet? Um, you know, Mal... Mal got Animal Crossing Legos as a gift from Dan for her birthday. Dan got Mal a set of, uh, it's Isabel and a deer. <laughs> I don't know the deer's name, but Mal, Mal put it together already because she was excited to do it. 
um, fauna, is that it? Uh, so Dan got her that, and uh, oh, and I had a patron ask me recently, they were like, hey, would you mind adding the Lego sets that you have to your game list, so if folks want to send you a Lego set, they don't send a duplicate. And I said, yeah. So on the on their collection page where we have our games, I've added Lego on the same tab as tabletop. So there's tabletop games, and then if you scroll down, there's the Lego sets that we have. Um, Renee uh, at Christmas sent um, the uh, NES, and that is absolutely a future stream. I want to I want to put that together and, and stream that. I think that would be fun. I don't have a, a good idea of how long that would take. Like I don't have a, a good understanding of like how how many pieces equals how much time because I have not put Lego together in a long time. Renee says even though I told him there was no pressure to stream it. Yeah, Renee actually went went out of her way to be like, listen, like do this off screen and like relax. Use it as something. And I'm like, but it'd be fun to stream. <laughs> it'd be fun to stream it. So, um, I think I am gonna stream that at, at some point. So, I don't know when, but <laughs> at some point, at some point I will. Uh, we had 52 months from your boy Kaiba. Uh, Maya, hello, gifted sub to Itsy Bitsy Spider went up. I don't know why we kept getting so many children's songs. <laughs> Renee, I just wanted you to have fun, darn it. I will have fun. I, the, I, I've had so many people worry about me too on this trip because they're like, you know, you need to not stream. And I'm like, I, I like streaming. It's fun. I like streaming. And also, like, if you think about the, the percentage of time that I'm devoting to this compared to the, like, a tr the trip, it's so small. I'm not doing Tuesday streams. I'm not doing Wednesday streams. Um, like Fossick says, I'm not editing at all. I'm not ed I'm not editing vlogs or anything on this trip. I have them all done. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> still jet lagged. Uh, yeah, so it's doing like two, maybe three streams a week for like maybe 30 to 60 minutes. Like, uh, that's that's... That's fun. I enjoy that, so. And as a reminder, Tuesday's breakfast stream is moved to Wednesday. I don't know what time Wednesday, but there's just no possible way it can happen on Tuesday. Yeah, there's no possible way it can happen on Tuesday. It does mean that you're gonna get a breakfast stream on my birthday, that's fun, because my birthday is Wednesday. I'm gonna be 35 years old. It's uh, older than I used to be. It's wild. Uh, we got 300 bits from King Kuran. It says, fun linguistics fact. Did you know hiragana is derived from written Chinese? They even share characters like uh, ku or cow, ki, ku in Chinese, and kuchi in Japanese, but both with the same meaning, mouth. I might have known that at some point, but I did not remember. I did not remember that. I um I think of everyone maybe well I don't know I was gonna say of everyone I'm the least versed in Japanese but I don't think that's true I think I'm I'm on the same level I think as Brandon and Haley probably yeah I think I think me Brandon and Haley are all like we know the minimum in order to, to do things. Um, but like Mao, M Mao has been studying Japanese, Alex has been studying Japanese, Thomas has been studying Japanese, um, Chaz obviously. Chaz, is, Chaz has been in J Japan a week by himself and has been, you know, getting through it. So, yeah. But I, um, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just like, on the plane here, I was like, Mao, remind me of the words. Because <laughs> it's like every time we go to Japan, I relearn like the same set of words. And then um, that's what I've been doing. So <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, have, I, have, I, also, I have no desire to learn also. That's the other thing. I don't, that's not 
that's not a high priority for me. If I want to be able to, um, you know, get by, and then that that's it. Yeah, English is hard enough. <laughs> Uh, we had 51 months from Gonzo Tinkerman, 6 months from Bonald Buck. Three to bits from uh, Night Owl says, I missed two stream or I missed two weeks of streams and I come back to you fleeing the country. <laughs> For a short time. For a short time. Uh, okay, so there's a song in the queue. Oh man, okay. There's a song in the queue. It's it's 5000 from Caruso. It's a sing about the fridge. 5,000, which song is that? <laughs> that's the, that's the, the, um, d duet song. That's Irish drinking song. So how does that go? Do, 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 do. And I think we only have like one lead in, right? This is gonna be so hard. Okay. All right, um, I think, I, I almost want, I, I actually, I think I'm going to pause this music because not being able to hear the other music but hearing Lost Woods will absolutely screw me up. That, that is, that is a bad idea. Um, all right. <laughs> All right, here goes something. I'm gonna watch the the meter. This is hard. I'm gonna have to watch the meter in my head do the music and then come up with rhymes. This will be easy. This will be totally fine. All right, let's see. I really love Japan. It is really fun. I want you to know, I'm not on the run from the law or anyone. I'm just being bold to tell you that I need some coffee and the coffee's cold. Oh, hidey di 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 How'd I do? Is it bad? How bad was it? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm early? Oh, no. Oh, the song is still going. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. I was an entire verse ahead? Oh, the intro is longer than I thought. So it, it must it must go do 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 so there's two. There's two, isn't there? That is that what I messed up? Is that the thing I screwed up? There's two, not one. Yes. Fart. In my head I was like, there's just one. Okay. And it's a big held note. Do do Okay, alright, shoot. <laughs> well, let me play music again. <laughs> That's right. Listen, you know what you're gonna get. Uh, <laughs> there's another. There's another five thousand in the queue. So I maybe they'll get, maybe they'll slowly get better. <laughs> that was five thousand from Caruso. Sing about the fridge. Uh, okay. Okay. We're doing good. We are doing fine and good. <laughs> Doing our best. Uh, Fifty-two months from Twitchy Toast. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did all right considering I could hear absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Moose, any boss coffee yet? Okay, I'll wait till I get through alerts, but then I'll show you the inside of the fridge. All I'm, all I'm, here's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is that in America, they have boss coffee. Uh, Rainbow Boss Coffee at H Mart, and um, it is three U.S. dollars for one can. I told Mal, I was like, "You're not allowed to buy this ever. <laughs> like, we cannot have this. It is. It's like eight ounces of coffee." I was like, "We no." And the other day, the other day we were in H Mart to get something unrelated, and uh, Mal was like, "They have Boss Coffee here." I was like, "Can you wait?" Like, 10 days or whatever? I was like, in 10 days, you can have as much as you want. So it's like three US dollars for one tiny Boss Coffee in America. And here, it is 320 yen for six cans. 
Someone do the conversion on that for me, because the yen is weak. So that's like $2 in something. So le for less than the price of one can, you can get six cans. Yeah, that's from a store. That's not from a vending machine. And the vending machine, it's 100 yen. But I just want you to know how Fosix is 242. Yeah, like... Yeah. So I went to a grocery store here, and I just bought a bunch of them. Because, uh... Every, every, everyone likes them. Me and Mal <clears throat> really like them. And, uh... <laughs> I'll probably still buy some at vending machines, because there's, there's... Some of the allure of being in Japan is the novelty of drinking drinks often, so... <laughs> it's, uh... It's... It's fun. I'm gonna... I'll probably drink lots of beverages. Uh, we got 30 months from Segway Place, 45 from Action Cat, 11 from Master Linkle. We got 500 bits from D. Bradwell. Says, I could use some good luck vibes. I'm taking the FE exam on Monday. It's the first of two exams to be a licensed professional engineer. I feel confident and have practiced we well, but it's still a big, important thing. Yeah, good vibes. It is big. Being a licensed professional engineer? Hell yeah. That would be very cool. I wish you the best of luck. If you've practiced well... You're good. My, my, anytime anyone has anything about the tests, I, I always, the advice I always give, and I'm sure you've heard it before, is just go with your gut. Like, go with the first thing you think. Because I know for me, if I spend too much time on a question, I will talk myself out of the right answer. <laughs> it's how I always am. But if I just, like, if I just, like, don't think, just let my brain work on its own, I'm like, then I'm fine. The minute that, because in, in school, um, they did teach us that in school, which was a helpful thing, but they also, there's other people that taught us, like, you need to review. I don't know. If you don't feel confident about a question, you go back and review. But you don't just review everything. No, because that's, the, that's when you look at something and you're like, well, I guess it could be this. <laughs> like, I want to know. I either want to get it right or wrong and keep going. Uh, we got 300 bits from Carmex. Says, I know you want to support Mother 3 on NSO, but you didn't need to go all the way to Japan. You can still import. <laughs> it's true. And we're past the time for the, uh, the, um, icons, right? Yeah. I, I missed the, I, I technically missed the icon day, like, being actually in Japan by, like, a day. But I did get the icons, so... Did anyone bring a Switch? Haley did. I actually didn't know she was going to bring a Switch. I wish I would have uh, checked with her. Because if, if I would have known that, I actually could have brought a capture card. Like, I, I didn't bring a capture card because I was like, I'm not going to... No one's going to have a Switch. I don't want to bring mine, so I'm not going to worry about it. But uh, if, if I would have known, I would have brought like a, like a cam link or something. I could throw that in the bag and be like, oh, play something. Yeah, she played, uh, unsurprisingly. I sat next to her on the plane for a while, and she just played Boyo. So, yeah. Uh, how long do you plan to be out for? Just checking. We're going to be out for a bit. Two weeks? Two weeks. Ten days. Two, I don't know. Some amount of time. Which is fun. Are you going to any sumo matches? We are. I have no idea which day, but we are. We are going to see Sumo. Some people are seeing Sumo twice. I am not. I'm in I'm in single single Sumo club. Hey Brandon. Did you sleep well? No. I mean yes, but no. Um, after this stream, I am considering going back to bed. Like, I've had enough sleep. Here's my philosophy. This is my philosophy. Everyone is all excited to be in Japan, and that's great. Um, but people got up early this morning and, like, got started. And I'm like, we haven't slept enough. I, I, to me, it feels more beneficial to use the first day to rest. I, I think that I want to use today to rest so the rest of the trip is palatable. That's kind of my philosophy on it. So... Kyramex says, I saw Steve Campos tweeting from Japan this week. Is that a coincidence? Steph and Steve are also in Japan. 
we will be meeting up with him. So, that's fun. And by meeting up with him, I mean, like, we have some activities planned with them, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, I, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing fine, but... Leading up... Here's the thing. Leading up to the trip, like, the two weeks prior to the trip, I slept, like, dog manure. Um, and that was bad. I didn't do it about... And that was on me. I was... I was... I was, uh, I was working on stuff. Some of it was on me. I guess some of it was still insomnia. Shoot, my insomnia didn't clear up till a little bit. Anyway, I, I didn't sleep well. I really didn't, I didn't do a good sleep. Um, February, February I had COVID and then I was trying to recover from, from, from COVID and then we went into March and um, I've still been dealing with a little few weird things off and on. And uh, I was I was also trying to work really hard because I was trying to get ahead for this trip. Um, and the cool thing is I did. For anyone that didn't uh, that came in late, I have vlogs scheduled every single day for the rest of March, which is great. That's super super great. Was the trip planned for a while? Yes. It depends who you ask, but yes, it was either planned for a few months or for a few years. I can talk about that in a, in a little bit, but yeah, it's it's been planned for a very, very long time. Um, but yeah, the, the vlogs are all scheduled, and because of that, I don't need to edit anything while I'm here, which is great, so I don't have any work to do um, other than stream, and stream to me is fun. So being sleep-deprived from all of that, and then not being able to sleep on a plane because I'm big, uh, and it's very hard, getting here I'm like I you know there's a there's a set there's a an amount of like adrenaline and dopamine that will get you up and moving but I don't really want to use it I'm like oh uh, no I'd rather be legitimately rested so I'm I'm just I'm gonna chill today I have plans this evening so I, I will be out doing stuff this evening but like if I can just keep getting some sleep I'm going to do that, because I really feel like I will enjoy the rest of the trip a little bit more. That's that's what I want to do. Anyway, alright, we had 66 months from Squid of Baconator, and then here's another song. Um, and, I ha and I have to remember that it... There's, two, there's a long note, and then two measures, or bars, or whatever they're called, and then the thing. Okay. This is 5,000 Bits from Will Peters. It says, sing about the anniversary of the Raleigh cult. <clears throat> um, okay. Sure. <laughs> Again, this is like a, a, an extreme mental exercise. Extreme mental exercise. I feel, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit because I normally what happens is the... The, the prompt comes up and I have to immediately respond. But I also am not doing a good job of thinking about the prompt because right now my brain is only focused on there's a long note and then there's two measures. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Anniversary of the Raleigh Cult. Uh, yeah. Um, oh god. I... Honestly, now I am trying to think of a rhyme, and I'm... Um, oof. It's alright. You're jet-lagged, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's see what happens with this. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's a little dry in here. I don't know how to fix that. I think actually some of the things have uh, dehumidifiers on them and I need to turn them off. That would be um, uh, good. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what's the word when it's not bad? Uh, oh shoot, oh, who hit the button? Who did that? Who, who, you can't do that. I can't hear the song. Who 
Someone grabbed the gun. Who freaking hit... Which of you hit the... Brandon? Did you grab the gun? Brandon, I can't hear the alerts. If I don't hit the... <laughs> I, I was about to hit the button and it disappeared and I was like, who grabbed the gun? I'm... I'm... <sighs> We're just moving this along. <laughs> okay. Well, here are the alerts, and I, I can't hear alerts. I can't hear alerts. It's I I I don't hear any alerts this time. It sucks. It's a it's a Mac OBS problem where if you don't have the monitoring device set correctly, you can't change it live. Works on Windows, doesn't work on Mac. So that was a fun discovery after I had started the stream. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, 5,000 Bits from Will Peters sing about the anniversary of the Raleigh cult. Oh, God, help me. Um, are here in Raleigh. Well, not today. Right now, the second we've went somewhere to play, we're over in Japan, and it's a lot of fun. But we want you to remember that the Raleigh cult is one. Oh, hidey diety 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 dupe. How bad did I screw it up? Still not good. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Brandon, oh my god, we have to find a better way. Let me play music again. Hmm, <laughs> but it was, it was still off, but closer. So here's the problem. I think maybe I have, I mean, I could have just been genuinely like early, but I also might have the um, uh, timing of the song wrong because the time, the song might not be accurate to the show. Maybe it is. But I know that the one of the songs I think is slightly slower. I think is Hoedown slightly slower. I don't remember. I can't remember all this stuff. <laughs> now that I can't hear the songs, I'm like, Brandon says, "Can you open the overlay link in Safari and hear alert audio that way?" Um. Maybe? Maybe? I didn't think about that. That's kind of smart. Kind of, kind of smart. Um, Will Peters, thank you. Let me clear some more things here. Uh, yeah, how, how, how would I do that? Hold on. Let me... I'm, I'm gonna try this. Brandon's right, this could work. Um, so I want this. Let me see if this works. Let's see if I can hear these. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, that had audio. Oh, that's loud as hell. That's very loud. Okay. Can y'all, you might be able to hear that. Like, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can do it live. What I need to do is I need to use Audio Hijack and I need to create a new thing. A new uh, block. This block will be for application. And we, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, though. Don't do that. We want to run application through volume. And the application is going to be um, Safari. We're going to run that into volume, and then we can grab the volume and change it independently of everything else. I think I lowered it too much. Oh, wait, no, I didn't set an output. <laughs> Oh, I can do this, actually. Yeah, this should work. Doing it live, baby. 
All right, this is a quarter of the volume. He says after he finishes getting through alerts. Let me replay this. Uh, this. So Fossix gifted a sub to Japan Train Trip. Fossix loves trains. I'm going to replay this and see if it fixed it. didn't hear that at all. <laughs> Hold on. Let me play this. Okay, I heard that. Do I have to have the, the tab active? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe the tab has to be active or something. We're learning a lot live. This is fun. Oh, double audio. Double audio? Okay, Brandon, to answer your question, no, this won't work. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Any, If there's a song that comes in, I'm going to do it with uh, not being able to hear it. It's fine. It's, it doesn't matter. It's it, a fun new game on Friday, which is the game stream. We love games. Hearing is, is uh, not important to this. We don't need it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know how to fix it for next time. It's just I... You know, so do you know what the problem was? I had the monitoring device set to my headphones. That's what it is. I had it set to my headphones, and then I started the stream, and then once the stream started, I was like, oh, wait, no, I need to set it to the speakers. And it was like, okay. But then it doesn't change it live, so that's why. See, may, maybe if I plugged up my headphones, I could hear it, but now that I've changed it, my suspicion is that the OBS would just be like, ah. It's fine. Uh, Three to Bits from Crusoe says, for a song you've been doing for years and not hearing it, you did a job. Hold on. It reminds me of something. Oh man, this is great. Can I show this? Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm gonna wait. The job made me think of something. Brandon, it's all fine. It's fine. Have a good stream, Steven. I'm gonna get ready for the day. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good, Brandon. Um, we had uh, 15 months from Brandon the Bicon. 51 months from Andrew in the kitchen. 300 bits from my hello with my hello weekend star rain. Tricky Anthony gifted a sub to Ampersand Queen. We had 66 months from Reed. Drew Anthony also gifted a sub to Sugar Comatoast. Three bits from Reader says, and now for your weekly inspired by quote, find a way as though a monkey were a parasite. If a monkey is on your back, I think that counts as a parasite. Pretty sure. Terry gifted a sub to Silent Companion. We also had 39 months of Tier 2 Gold Toast from Radio Dread. And 45 months from Risky Click 1996. Okay, and there's another song. This one is Hoedown. This is 6,000 bits from D. Bradwell. It says, this is your sign to make some dang food and do a hoedown while making it. Um, now I'm like, what does a hoedown even sound like? I have that. I, that's in my head. I know this one. He said moments before screwing it up. <clears throat> I can do this. I can do this one. All right. Let me pull up. The, I have to be able to see the decibels move. <laughs> I have to see the meter move. <sighs> okay. It's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. I can do this. <clears throat> all right. Ready? I am in Japan and I am feeling fine. I have just been given D. Bradwell sign because the thing is I need to be in the mood to eat some 
gosh dang food. Some gosh dang food. How was that? Was that better? I, I cannot hear it, so that was that's cool if I managed to get... I, I had a feeling that I would do better at that one than the Irish drinking song. Well, we <laughs> lost a little bit at the end, but the start was perfect. Cool. Cool. Deep Redwell, thank you. And yes, um, uh, yes, I need to, uh, I need to food. I, there's, there's three alerts in the queue, and I'll, I'll grab it. And there's also nine art. That's a lot of art. Okay. Um, here we go. These three alerts in the no eat. We had uh, three into bits of Maldo, who <laughs> wrote hyper ulu. Fossick says, is Mao there? No. Mao is gone. I don't know where Mao is. Ninja Crusoe says, do we need a clown? <laughs> All the clowns are silenced for me. Hey! Poggers. Poggy is in Japan. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> a long time ago, before OBS had done an update that changed how browser sources worked, um, Poggy and any like big on-screen things like completely broke everything on a laptop. But now it works. Anyway, 3000 bits from Grabable says, is Poggy in Japan? You know he is. It's true. Okay, all right. I'm gonna get a little thing here. And then I'm gonna talk to you. Oh God! I'm gonna talk to you. At, I'm gonna talk to you about um, the trip. Talk to you a little bit about the trip. What's going on? So you have an idea. I guess we're figuring out how to recycle. There's not a recycle in here, so we'll have to find that out. I got myself some food here. This was a hundred yen. We love that for us. Like there's a cost to get to Japan and there's a cost for lodging, but dear God, so much of the food is so inexpensive. <laughs> Let's see here. Turn this around. I'm gonna turn this car around. Here we go. That, that bottle was the size of the... I, once I got it home, I was like, I really hope this fits. I hope this fits. Ah. Is everyone thinking of Tommy Lee Jones right now? Yay. <clears throat> Great. <laughs> if, y'all's, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, Japan has a, a huge collection of uh, Boss Coffee commercials and they all star <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. It's great. Uh, there we go. Yay. I love these so much. I really, really love these. It's like a dollar something. And uh, I like to get the ones with salmon inside, but they come with a, in a variety of ones. Haley likes the one with uh, the pickled plums. <laughs> it's a jelly jelly nut. Mmm. This is so good. I really love being able to walk in a convenience store and get like a drink and a food and it's like legitimately good for like two bucks. Mm. Fawcett says, what jelly is inside? This is salmon. Salmon jelly. <laughs> love salmon jelly. 
love it so much. So. <laughs> so it's roe, not roe. <laughs> salmon, uh, cooked, cooked salmon. Um, so this trip was, uh, we were talking about this trip a long time ago. Um, when, when was the Olympics planned for, uh, Japan? Was that 2020? Or 2021? 2020, right? Okay. So here's how, here's how all this started and why we were in Japan in the year of our Lord, 2024. Um, Thomas was planning a Japan trip. Thomas was going to go to Japan in 2020 uh, for the Olympics, I think. I'm pretty sure. I, I hope I have this right. Um, I think he was planning to go, him and Brittany <clears throat> were going to be in Japan for the Olympics. And that didn't happen. So then it got, the Olympics got moved, did the Olympics get moved to like 2021? I think they got moved to 2021 and then he was like, okay, well, we're going to go <clears throat> in 2021. And uh, <clears throat> for whatever reason, that didn't materialize either. Probably because the world was still slightly in shambles. <laughs> and uh, it was a difficult thing to do. So, um, anyway, um, this was all like, this was, this is like Thomas's trip and like he had told us about it and it was kind of like, you could go. And we're like, well, you know. at the time, like we, we weren't going to go because we had just been to Japan. We had been to Japan in 2019. So asking us to go in 20, 2020, I was like, eh, we've just been. And then in 2021, it was like, well, stuff's going on. You can't. You're traveling is a, is a pain so um, it kept getting moved back and then in what was it in summer or fall summer or fall of last year Thomas was like okay we're gonna do this we're gonna make this happen we're gonna go in March 2024 and um, you know we at that so that this at that time it had been like okay well that would be five years after we've been to Japan so me and Mal were talking about it, and we were like, well, we could go, you know. So we asked uh, all of the Raleigh Collective who would be interested in going, and that list was me and Mal, Alex and Haley, and Brandon. So just the five of us. And um, so that was our plan. Uh, we were going to, it was going to be the five of us and meet up with, with Thomas and Brittany. And uh, that, that was our plan. And then it was pretty, l it wasn't all that long ago. I mean, it's been a few months, but it was after that, that um, Chaz kind of had a bit of the itch to go. And uh, Jeff was like, you should go. He's like, you should go. He's like, you know, I'll, I'll take care of the cats. And... Uh, why don't you go and, you know, experience some of Japan? Because Chaz has been, like, studying Japanese a lot. And uh, when Chaz looked at our dates, the prices had gone up. And he found out that actually, or maybe they were the same or something. I don't know. It was cheaper to get here earlier. Like, by a lot. For whatever reason. Um, I don't know if he just waited enough time. Because there's some, like, sweet spots when you're planning travel and you're buying airfare that were, like things can get, things can like be a price, but then bef eventually they'll go higher. But like before they go higher, sometimes they'll dip. So Chaz got the dip and um, he saved like several hundred dollars and got here earlier. So he's been, he was in uh, Japan for a week before we ever got here. He's been living it up. And um, the cool thing is he's been shooting vlog footage and I've been editing it into like the my vlogs so when those vlogs start coming out it jumps back and forth between like america and japan so it shows like what the raleigh collective is up to and then we transfer over to chaz and show what he's doing in japan they're very cool vlogs 
I'm very, very proud of how the the ones I've edited so far have, have, have come out. I think I've done four, four or five of those. So um, those are super neat. So he's been here for a week, and uh, we arrived last, well, I guess it was afternoon, yesterday afternoon. Travel's a little weird if you're going across the international date line because your days get screwed up. Anyway, there's more to this. I'll go ahead and tell you the details. Steph and Steve have also wanted to go back to Japan. And we were talking to them, <clears throat> and they're like, oh, well, it, you know, it'd be good to... It'd be fun to go with you guys again. Because we, we were together in, in 2016. Um, if you've seen those vlogs, a lot of the folks from Fangamer... Um, went. It was like Fangamer people, and then me and Mao, and Toby, maybe everyone else was Fangamer? We might have been the only three that weren't part of Fangamer, I'm not sure. Um, so that was 2016. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we saw Etoy. That was cool. Liked that. <laughs> that was great. Um, not expected, but great. That was already a great day because, as a reminder, we had gotten a chance to tour the Hobonichi offices because the person who was with us, who work, works for Fangamer, but, um... Does she work for Fangamer? I don't know. Her husband works for Fangamer, Dan. Uh, but, uh, Lindsay, um... Uh, not our... <laughs> it's so confusing. Not our Lindsay, but Fangamer Lindsay's, uh, Earthbound Lindsay. Uh, she was uh, she was kind of acting as a, like a, a general like Japan guide on that 2016 trip, and she worked she worked and I think still does work for Hobonichi. Uh, she was the one that was like responsible for like localizing the techo, like the techo being in English is like I think I think the reason it even exists is because of like Lindsay's like fervor on trying to make it a thing. So like she worked for Hobonichi um, and she's like extremely fluent and stuff. So um, that was that was a very cool trip because she was able to just get us into the offices. That's why we got to tour the offices. And I'm so glad we were able to film in there and we filmed so much. And then we were walking out and then Itoi was there and we were like, oh, neat. Because we were wondering, we were like, is, you know, is Itoi gonna be there? And uh, She's like, he does whatever he wants. Like, he does not have a schedule. Like, he comes into work on the days he wants and at the times he wants. Like, just whenever. <laughs> and uh, we just so happen to catch him. So, because he toys 75. So, when we went on that trip, that was eight years ago. So, we've been like 68. Is that the math? 67? Whatever. Anyway. He does what he wants. Yeah. He just goes in whenever. Anyway, where was I going with this? Steph and Steve. So Steph and Steve were like, yeah, that'd be fun. So they're also on the trip. They got here a few days before we did. Um, and like they're doing some of their own things too. One of the things they're doing is like Fangamer expanded to Japan. Um, so like Fangamer has their own um, storefront. There's a storefront here. I think it's in Shibuya. I'm not sure. It might be in Shibuya. I don't remember. Anyway, so they have a storefront here and then obviously they also have warehouses here so they can ship like locally to Japan. Um, so I know Steph and Steve are going to go tour the the Japanese fan gamer warehouses and see what that's like. They might they might be there today. I don't know what they're doing. So um, that's super neat. Uh, at some point, we'll probably see the Japanese um, fan gamer store. Um, there might be a chance I could run into someone I know because some of the folks that were on that 2016 trip, like they're old Starman.net people, 
some of which have lived in Japan forever, and I know. Um, and I know some of them now work for Fangamer Japan. So if they're in the storefront, it could be some folks that were on that trip that I just haven't seen in like eight years, and that would be, that would be really neat. I don't know if I'll see anyone or not. <clears throat> anyway. Mike says, isn't Steve like high up in Fangamer now? And Steve's always been super important. I mean, the thing is, the thing about Fangamer <clears throat> is that when Fangamer got started, it was, um, <laughs> me and Chaz have the same feeling on this. When Fangamer got started, Reed asked people for money. It was a very small amount of money. He needed, he was, I think he was asking for $1,000 and he needed like 10 people to, to, you know, invest $10,000 or invest $1,000 into this company. And like me and Chaz were a part of the group that was asked, you know, like there, there's certainly a part of me that's like, huh, wish I would have invested in Fangamer. <laughs> it would have been nice to be a part owner of Fangamer. That probably would have been a smart idea, but the thing is, at the time, um, at the time in in my life when Fangamer was getting started, like I didn't have a thousand dollars to spare. Like, did I have? I mean, did I? Yes, but like, should I have in, been investing that in like an unknown company? Like, no, I, I couldn't have done that at the time. So, yeah, like River Drake says, I was in college and not rich. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, the first meeting for Fangamer was 2008. In 2008, Fangamer, it, it didn't exist yet, but it was just about to get it start existing. Because we were doing a Starman.net convention in um, Michigan City. And uh, I was there, and Mal was there, Toby, Chaz. There was probably about 40, 40 or 50 of us people there. And while we were there, uh, Reed, who is the one of the founders of Starman.net and one and the founder of Fangamer was like, you know, we got this idea. We want to do like a a merch company. And John Kay, who is a, a longtime designer for Fangamer, was there. And uh, they had made a Fangamer logo, and they had um, I think they had they might have had a Fangamer shirt, but they had their very first shirt, which was uh, it said. Uh, it was, it was called the EB90X shirt, and I think it said EB and then 9 and an X, which is a reference to the, the fact that an Earthbound says 1990X, so they had that shirt there. Um, yeah. Fossick says, testing if Steven reads the pinned message. I got there. Did I see it because someone at the bottom said he only reads the bottom, and then it's a response to Fossick's testing if Steven reads the pinned message? I mean, yes. There's only so much I could do. I got there. Um, yeah, so that that was that's the whole like little fan gamer story. So the the fact that that was 2008, it's been 16 years. Fan gamer's big. Fan gamer is very big because like not only have they expanded like to different countries and that's really cool. And uh, obviously like from what I understand, um, you know the the Japanese also really are into fan gamer stuff because why wouldn't they be? It's video games. Um, but like Fangamer does publishing, like you can buy Fangamer published video games at Best Buy, which is really neat. Um, they've done so many license deals, which is cool. They've worked with all sorts of companies. They've been a part of like um, the backer rewards for all sorts of like really big Kickstarters. So I don't know, man. It's really cool because like for, for you know, 99.9% .9 of the population, it's Fangamer. But for me, I'm like, ah, that's just, that's just my starmen.net buddies. And it's cool that they... Uh, They've, they've done so well. That was a long tangent. <clears throat> Sorry that was so long. God, she's eating this jelly donut. That was very good. Kayla Chris says, how is pizza doing? I think she's still doing good. 
That's Steph and Steve's dog. I believe she's still doing good. Um, okay. Where was I? Steph and Steve are on the trip. That was what that was. That entire tangent about, like, the history of Fangamer was just about, Steph, like, Steph and Steve are on the trip. Um, but, you know, if, if people have never heard that story, it's a very, it's a fun, it's a fun, interesting story. Um, and then the other person on the trip, the other person on the trip is our Lindsay. Um, our Lindsay is also in Japan. Maybe, is she, maybe, I don't know when she gets here. Um, our, and actually, she, she is in Japan with her sister, and... They have they have a lot of plans of things, but their plans don't intersect ours very much. I'm sure that we will see her. Like we will definitely make something happen. But um, like as far as like the blogs go, Lindsay will probably be seen like a very very small amount because her what she and her sister are doing is like very separate from us. But yeah, but she is uh, either in Japan or. We'll be in Japan soon. As is tradition. I know. It's... It, it, I don't know why this happens. <laughs> but yeah. Um, she wanted to... Uh, they're doing like a bunch of... Um, I think they're doing like a bunch of Disney stuff. Uh, which is very cool. And there's a lot of stuff that you can do in Japan with that. But uh, the rest of the group is doing completely other things. What is with this music? The well, the other thing, the other problem with this is uh, having the the mobile streams is that this is not my normal list of music, and that is sometimes a problem because what happens is as time goes on and I do streams, um, things might get added to content ID or whatever. And when they get added to Content ID, I remove them from the list so it doesn't come up, so I don't have to like painstakingly go in and replace a music track. But since the laptop doesn't have the updated list, sometimes it'll just play music that is in Content ID that I don't know about because it's the wrong list. Uh, so whenever I put it up on the uh, stream, on the, the VOD channel, I may have to fix something. So that's always fun. I just know that Kingdom Hearts music especially has been a problem for things in the past. Which is unfortunate because, yeah, it was very appropriate for Disney talk. Alright, let me read some more alerts and then I'll uh, tell you some more things. Thunder Bits of Crusoe says, This clown says, Technology is a wonderful thing. It is. It can be kind of a pain in the neck. But is it good? It's good. Thunder Bits from Jay Linebeck says, Gotta ask, did you find the secret family mart in your attic? If not, I recommend it. Their breakfast food is really great. Also, good morning. Nice to be in a close time zone for once. I'm one hour behind Japan. Uh, good morning. Um, yeah, uh, I've been to Family Mart before. Um, I Last night, me, Mao, Alex, and Haley wandered out to get some stuff. And uh, we went to a grocery store. And we were only in the grocery store for a minute or two. And Mao and Alex were like... This doesn't, we want to get something else. We, we're going to go to the Family Mart. So they went to the Family Mart, and me and Haley did our shopping in the grocery store. And then we just both went home and met back at the Airbnb. So they went to the Family Mart, but I haven't um, been. Uh, well, this trip. There's Family Mart, there's Lawson, there's 7-Eleven. There's all the different ones that you can go to. Uh, 300 Bits of Soccer Celica says, Steven, on every vending machine you see, get a Boss Coffee. I did do that once. I've, I've told that story before, but whenever we were in Japan in 2019, we spent a day in Kyoto, and uh, a day or two days, and I told myself, I was like, Mal, here's what I'm gonna do. Every time I see a Boss Coffee, a Rainbow Boss Coffee in a vending machine, I'm going to buy it. This will be a test. I wanna see how many I'm going to drink, because they're really small. I, I, I think this is, it's eight ounces at most. It might be six ounces. I don't know. <laughs> it's measured in grams. It's not helpful for me. Um, yeah, so um, I did that in Kyoto, and uh, I drank 11. 
The music cut out at the perfect time to really emphasize that. I drank 11 of them. And that was fine. This should be in milliliters, right? Why is it not? There is nothing on this that says milliliters. On the top? Nope. No idea. Anyway, how wired were you? Caffeine doesn't affect me. Caffeine doesn't affect me. It affects my bowels, but it doesn't affect my head. So I can drink coffee like before I go to bed and it doesn't do anything. But it was a lot of sugar because I normally drink coffee black, but Rainbow Boss has got like cream and sugar in it and I like it. Um, it's a little sweet treat. How are those bathrooms? I don't remember. It's prob it was probably one bathroom trip <coughs> to, uh, to fear. That's probably what happened. <laughs> it's probably what happened. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I'll do that again. It's funny because Thomas was telling me he wanted to do that. He's like, I'm going to drink every vending machine. I was like, you can do it. There was a few I had, to, I had to skip because they didn't have the Rainbow Boss. But yeah, over the course of that entire day walking around Kyoto, if we passed a vending machine, I was like, I have to check. 100 yen. Put it in. The, the yen is uh, very weak right now, which is a benefit if you're traveling here. So, um... Yeah, it, it's interesting because if you're just, if you were even thinking about it as a one to one, like 100 yen being a dollar, things are already cheap compared to the states. But then to factor in that the, the fact that the yen is weak, it's very cheap. Like I was saying earlier, like, you know, there's a cost obviously to get to Japan and a cost for lodging, but like for food, whether you're going to like a restaurant or getting it from a convenience store or whatever, like, man, it's not not expensive it's also a huge reminder of how much food both at grocery stores and at restaurants has it, how, how much the, the cost has increased in america in just like the last five years it's insane like it's to go out and eat a food at a restaurant like a sit-down restaurant where you have to tip there was a time where you could do that for like maybe less than $20, 20 to $25. Um, but that, I, that's gone. That, that is, that, that doesn't exist anymore. That's, that, those days, those days have ended. Um, if you're going out to eat in the States at a sit down place where you're going to tip your server 20%, um, especially if one, if someone God forbid both of you are drinking, but if one of you are drinking, that's, that's, a, that's $50. Yeah, it's, um, Japan is nice. Uh, we have 34 months from Blaze23124. Epic DXX gifted to sub to Green Day Rock. Clear these other ones. Six months from TJ Koopa. We have 300 bits and Will Peters. It says, Stephen, are you eating a jelly donut? They're really good, aren't they? Aren't they? There's jelly donuts. Nothing beats a jelly donut. When I was a child, um, I watched Pokemon uh, when it debuted. Um, I had been tipped off about Pokemon from, I guess, Nintendo Power? Oh yeah, no, actually, I don't know if anyone remembers this, some of you probably do. Uh, back in 1990, it's gonna either be seven or eight, because Pokemon debuted in Japan in 96 and it debuted in the States in 98. Uh, if, you were, if you were subscribed to Nintendo Power, Every once in a while, Nintendo Power would send out VHS tapes to advertise, like, games or something. But they sent one out, I guess, like, in early 98, and it was, like, a sneak peek at Pokemon. And they hyped that stuff up so bad. Like, just, like, this is a big deal. And in fairness, it was a big deal. Like, it had been in Japan already for, like, a year and a half, two years, and it was a big deal. Um... So I watched that a bunch and I was ready for the show because there's a part of it that's like, there's a cartoon, it's gonna be on Fox Kids or whatever at this time. So like I was, I watched Pokemon like when it debuted on television. And uh, I remember getting to that part where Brock has got, you know, the jelly donut. And I just remember thinking as a child, like, what's wrong with that donut? <laughs> I would have been nine. 
That was a uh, nine in 1998. So like, mm, what's happening here? Because I had no concept of of onigiri, but like. Just like, I don't know what's happening here. Something's wrong with this. We have three into bits and reader says the Japan trip is like Smash Ultimate. Everybody's here. There are a lot of people here. We do. We we have uh, we have quite a few folks. It is and it's nice to be back. It's been five years. Five years next month from the last time we were in Japan. And uh, I don't know that that was ever like our goal to wait that long. Mao really loves Japan. Um, Alex and Haley love Japan. Chaz obviously adores Japan. I, I feel like if there hadn't have been a pandemic, I feel like Japan is the sort of trip that we would take like semi regularly. It, I don't think it would be an annual thing, um, but there was three years between our 2016 and 2019 trip, and like that sort of thing would probably be a somewhat regular occurrence. So like going forward, I, I'm sure that this will not be the last time we're in Japan. Um, and the other thing is, like, we've gotten pretty lucky before on uh, prices. This trip was was a little more expensive than it's been in the past, but it's not that it was expensive, it was just kind of like normally, normal priced. But in the past, Mao and I have went to Japan round trip. In 2016, I think it was like $600 a person, which is insane. That is insane. Um, and in 2019, it was about, it was almost the same. I think it was uh, somewhere between six and seven hundred dollars a person round trip, and that is that's that's absurd. But the thing is, if you if you're if you're watching things, the other part is you have to be a little flexible, right? Amara says six hundred total with the flight, six hundred total for the flights, one person round trip flight. That's if you don't know though. That's like extremely good. If you could tra traveling less for, than a thousand dollars for a round trip flight international is is a that's wild. That's very wild. Um, and we managed to do that twice. That happened in 2016 and 2019. Yeah, I think in I think for both trips they were like slightly more than 600 and slightly less than 700 something in that that range. That's how much our tickets were in 2016 to 2019. Um, yeah, so I and then like obviously things have changed in inflation, but like if you if you can be a little flexible in what your dates can be, um, and you just kind of watch things and you're waiting and you're kind of let kind of let the the sea dictate when you're going to go to Japan. Like it's possible to get uh, pretty inexpensive um, flights, which is good. What airline? Both 2016 and 2019 were JAL. Yeah. This time we didn't have JAL. This time we went uh, ANA. And uh, it was fine. You know what my biggest problem was? And I think this is a problem on JAL too. It might just be a, it, it might just be a thing for like Asian airlines because this was this was a huge problem when we went to China. Is there's no AC. Like you know how on like if you're flying it domestically in, in the United States, there's a there's the things up up above you that you can make the air come out like per individual seat. Um, that's not a a thing. It's not a thing on ANA. It wasn't a thing on uh, whatever airline we took for China, and I don't think it was a thing on JAL. So like we got onto the plane in Houston, and I and that all came back to me, and I was like, oh god. Oh no. And uh, you know, I took off my hoodie immediately and I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and I'm like, this okay, alright, okay, alright. <laughs> Kiwi Lee Skippy says, sorry, I've only flown Ethiopian. American airplanes have air? Yeah. Every single um, every single uh, domestic flight in America, no matter what plane you're on, has air conditioning for each individual seat. Nerdy Revelry says, this is why you dress in layers. But I I was I was as naked as I was allowed to be on a plane. <laughs> I like I had a t-shirt. <laughs> I had a t-shirt and and pants. Like if I would have worn shorts, it could have been better. But there was there was no part of me that was like, ah, I need to wear shorts. 
I just did the best I could. I just did the best I could. I was as, I was as naked as they would allow me to be. Yeah. Anyway. Amara says, should have been a tank top. Speaking of tank top, there is a vlog coming out to Ma to Oh, God. Uh, to you guys are living in Friday. Okay. There's a, I'm, hi, I'm in the future. It's Saturday here. When it's Saturday in the Eastern time zone, there's a vlog coming out that is the... Yeah, it's the fashion show vlog. That's tomorrow for y'all. It's great. It's super great. I'm so excited for you to see it. Haley and I are so excited for you to see it. Um, I've actually, I showed it to them because uh, Haley and Alex were over at the house the other night and um, I was, uh, Haley was like, when does that vlog come out? And I was like, it's going to be when we're on the trip. And uh, I was like, do you want to see it? Because like when we're in Japan, you're not going to see it, you know? And she was like, yeah. So um, I, I, I pulled it up on the TV and we watched through it. She's like, yeah, this is really great. So... And uh, yeah, we did, we got rid of uh, a lot of my closet, and um, I, I you probably saw it whenever I was standing. I got new pants, and the, these these might be the first pants ever <laughs> that like really they really feel like they fit me. Um, I had no idea that pants could fit like this. Amazing! It's great. So it's it's been fun to have new pants. Uh, we had 24 months from Lola loves peaches. Congrats on the two. Uh, 47 months from Hyrule's Dawn, 65 months from Aerodash 3K, 46 months from Gamer Girl Life, 14 from um, Jinan Boys. Jinan Boys. And 47 months from Throwdown. I got pants. They're, yeah, they're, they're nice pants. These are, um, they're from Duluth. Uh, and this is, Duluth is what Haley has worn, I guess, for a while, or she found out about them and she was wearing them. She really liked them, and then Alex got pants, and she was just telling me how good the Duluth Trading Company pants are, and um, she was right. She was right. I got the good pants, um, and uh, so there's there's a vlog coming out where like I ordered some pants. This is a little vlog spoiler, but it's fine. I ordered some pants. Because uh, we have a Duluth in Raleigh, but I was like, well, I can just order them and have them set to my door, and if something's wrong, I can return them locally. So I ordered them, and the the style that I got when I tried them on, I was like, eh. So there's a vlog where I get the pants, and I'm like, oh, we got pants, and I put them on, and I'm like, eh. And then the next day, uh, me and Mao and Haley went to Duluth, and I exchanged them for a different fit, and then things were good. Then things were good. I've done... I did so much spinning. <laughs> Between the fashion show vlog... I did all the pants stuff before the, the vlog was ever rolling, but like, there was so much spinning. There was so much, so much of Mal and Haley like, looking at my backside and being like, that's bad. I'm like, okay. Uh, and I got rid of a lot of pants that day, and now I have pants that like, fit good. A, a novel concept for your your pants to fit you, but I have pants that fit me. And the Duluth ones, um, they're they're like stretchy. Like it's 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 like denim, but they're they're stretchy. It's really cool, really really cool. I spy most says uh, still six uh, thirty six inseam. No. No, I got 34. So in my closet, this is a little, this is a little fun, Stephen George fact. My closet has always been full of like half of my pants is 34 inseam and uh, half is 36. And it's because my, my weight fluctuates enough to make it where sometimes the pants will be too big and sometimes they will be too small. Because that's just, that's just how I've always been. Um, oh, you have normal length legs. I mean, my, 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 the, the length of my, um, wait, what am I, is inseam, which one, sorry, I'm not the sewing person, the waist, 
The waist is what goes from 34 to 36. The height, what is that? What's the height? Oh, in Simi's length. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't know anything. Don't tell Haley about this. She will be so freaking pissed that I don't know this. Listen, it, and I've been jet lagged. I think I have good excuses. Anyway, so the height, the height. <laughs> this is a great stream. The height is 36. Yes, I have not gotten any um, <laughs> lunar. Don't you dare. <laughs> Please, God. She will... Listen, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time Haley has just, like, looked at me and just went, I would have, like, a dollar. I don't need that. Yeah, I, I, my, the, the length, the inseam is 36 inches. The waist, I have always had a closet of 34 and 36s. 34 and 36s, and that's because my, my weight fluctuates. But the ones that I bought from Duluth, I got all 34s, um... And that is because I lost, I lost a, a bunch of weight during COVID. Um, and I had already been kind of trending down on weight a little bit, but during COVID I lost um, 10 pounds, I think. And uh, I'm actually at the lowest weight I've been in five, probably about five years. And it's still a, it's still a healthy weight. Um, and the, 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 Mao has always been really mad because it, if I want to lose weight, uh, the, the joke is that I can lose weight if I just think about losing weight. Um, because I, it, it, almost, it almost works like that. I, I fluctuate in weight, and if, if I want to get into my 34 pants, then I just need like a week or two of just deliberately thinking, do not eat the pretzels. Don't do that. Don't, eat, don't drink the soda. <laughs> Um, for lunch, have the low calorie thing. If I do, if I do that, then I I can swap back and forth between um, pants. Um, so, uh, I, I, what I'm thinking now is that since I've gotten rid of so many of my pants and the ones that I got that are new um, are 34s, I'm like, well, I can. If, if I want to stay in the 34s and use that as, like, my my actual waist size going forward, I can. So that's what I'm, I'm probably going to do, I guess. Uh, and it, 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 for me, and, like, everyone is different. And I, I, I always feel bad talking about this because I know for some folks, like, losing weight is obviously very difficult. Um, but this is, just, this is just, like, my body. This is how my body works. Uh... If I if I make a kind of like a semi deliberate thought process, um, then I should be good. Uh, I like to have some of the bigger pants around though because um, I do like to. There's there's times where I just I'm like I want to eat things. <laughs> just want to like <laughs> just want to eat things. Uh, if you've watched the vlog long enough, you know that like it's for me. You know, I, I, I really like food, and I really like snacking, and, like, I can snack, but if I snack, like, my, my waist size is going to change, because um, I'll sit down and I will eat, uh, I will eat way too many things, so, uh, if I, if I have pants that are only in the, the smaller range of my thing, then I will, I kind of have to think about that a little bit more. And honestly, it might be better for me. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I Spy Moose says, for lack of better phrasing, everyone has a pair of fat pants and will never part with them. I do, I did keep some, some 36s in my closet. Um, Cause like that can, that can happen. My, my weight, my weight has been pretty similar over the years. Um, the, the only time that it really, really changed was there was a summer, and it's on the vlog. I don't remember which summer it was. I think it was the summer we went to Greece, I think. Um, I gained 30-something pounds in over the course of the summer. And uh, it, it, that was the first time that it, I guess I had hit the, the, the stage of my life where like, I, I, I realized, oh wait, I can't just do whatever I want. Um, because, like, my entire life, I was like, I'll see whatever I want. And I always did that, and then that summer, I was like, why can't I get my pants on? And then I, like, weighed myself, and I was like, oh, I've gained, I've 
gained over 30 pounds this summer. Um, you know what it was? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna for emphasis, I'm going to, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause Carlos and Celine Dion. When I was in Greece, we, we did a bunch of different things in Greece, and one of the things that we did is we went to, uh, uh, we were on a crew, a little tiny cruise ship that went around like the island, so you could go to uh, Patmos and uh, the other ones. There's like five of them. And while we were on that, we had an unlimited drink pass. And one of the things that you could get with this unlimited drink pass was essentially like, like a frozen coffee, like a coffee milkshake thing. And in order to make it um, worthwhile, because I'm the type of person that's like, this costs this much, we have to drink at least this many. I had, I had one of those frozen coffee milkshake things like three to four times a day for a week. And I just, I, I guarantee you that that was the catalyst. Like that was the, that was the thing where my body was like, oh, okay, we're doing this now. Uh, so I gained, I gained like 30, uh, almost like 30 to 35 pounds that summer. I really think that that was, that was what happened. That was what happened. Anyway, back to, um, back to, back to this. Oh, I went to Banjo-Kazooie. Well, <sighs> That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. The the thing about me is it's an inter it's inter interesting. I don't have a problem with self control. I really don't. But I do deliberately make bad decisions. <laughs> like I'm the type of person that at any point I can choose not to do a thing. That's not a problem. But will I choose to do the bad thing? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's just me. I don't know what else to tell you. That's just how I work. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. When being frugal goes wrong. I do. I struggle with that a lot. I mean, I grew up in a household where, like, you, the food waste was a sin, man. Like, you can't let the food go to waste because money was tight and you can't let the food go bad. Like you have to, you gotta get through it. And it's been, it's been a very hard adjustment to try and let some of that go a little bit. And I'm still particular, I'm like, you know, if we're at the store, we have to, we, we need to talk a little bit about what we're getting. Like, cause we shot a lot at Costco and I'm like, okay, hold on. We're, if we're gonna buy eight apples, when when are we gonna when are we gonna eat these apples? Because I do I, I do experience what I would describe as physical pain if I have to throw food away. Like it's it's mmm it's not great. It's not great, so yeah. Um It's not like don't get me wrong, I don't think that that's like a the healthiest thing mentally. But I also kind of in some ways like appreciate being instilled in that you're having that instilled in me from my parents. I mean, it wasn't by choice. It was because like <laughs> we didn't have a lot of money. But um, I, it's, I think that's still maybe more positive than negative. We'll assume it's slightly more positive than negative. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, we had 34 months from Kenda Queen. And uh, 51 months from Josh A. Braun. And then also uh, 57 months from Everchanger. Thank you. Circle not squared. So it's trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's got trauma. Everyone's got trauma. Everyone's trauma comes in different shapes, sizes, and flavors, but everyone's got it. <laughs> That's just this is how it is. Uh, work, work on it in therapy to the best of your ability. <laughs> and uh, you know, understanding understanding that you have it is step one. Uh, oh god. Okay, hold on. <laughs> a little too real there. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. This is, this is, this is Zelda. This is Zelda. We're Zelda-ing. We're having fun with Zelda. Hold on. Let me play some Zelda music. <laughs> Let me get Zelda. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. 
Here we go. It's listen. Here we are. It's Zelda. You know, I, I should have just played only Zelda music today. <laughs> That's what I should have done. Okay. Um, there's five thousand bits from Reed. It says, "Okay, challenge. You can't hear it anyway, so sing, but get faster on every verse." I don't know if that will be extremely easy or extremely difficult. I literally cannot decide. Sure. You know what? I'm gonna let the, the Zelda music play. I don't think it's gonna affect anything. I don't think it's gonna make this any harder or easier for me. <laughs> okay, and this is... this is... uh... Irish drinking song. Wait, why do I care? Why? It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't... this doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I just, I just got a message from my mom, and she says, We're watching your vlog. I should tell her, like, I'm live on Twitch, actually. I'm, li I'm live on Twitch right now. You should watch that. <laughs> you should watch it. Oh, y'all hear the ding? Yeah, that was, that was my mom. Okay, alright, let's give this a shot. Um... Oh. Oh, okay. My mom said... She said vlog, but I guess she meant Twitch. She says, we, we, we're we watching Twitch. Okay. Well, hi. Back home. What time is it? It's 9.41 p.m. There. Okay. All right. Stop sending me messages. It's making my computer dang. <laughs> oh, that one was Mal. Mal. Every, the dinging. The dinging. There's so much dinging. No more messages. Too much, too much dinging happening. Uh, okay, what? Uh, Alright, I did a song. There's a song here. Sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi dee 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 Oh, hi dee 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 Reed wants me to sing his song, but he wants me to get faster, so I'm going to get faster, and then it's going to get faster. Once I get fast enough, then it'll be fast. And if you don't believe me, sit down on your butt. Oh, hi dee 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 I'm probably going fast enough to get one more verse. Here's another verse. It's a third verse. Shouldn't be in here. I did not rehearse. I have this verse. I'm gonna do it quick. Do 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 do. Hits my big trick. Do 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 do. Sonic jealous. Take that, Sonic the Hedgehog. I realized so fast that you started to really. I, I, I was going so quick, I was like, I think I, I think I can just put more... I finished at the right time? I gotta stop using words that rhyme with... with... ick. Um, it's hard, because then, you know... I think of the, 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 the word that I don't want to say. Uh, read, thank you. Oh, we have art! 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 Let's look at art. Let's look at art. Oh, I love this. Happy dating anniversary! Thank you, James. Mal and I have been together for 16 years. And it's been, it's been the best 16 years of my life. <laughs> Chaz gave Mal the gun. <laughs> Donut. I like seeing the, the different styles of art. Little did Mal know the chaos this image will create. Didn't even know she took that. I think, what, did I see this photo? I've seen this photo. Yeah, I've seen this photo. It's just been a really long 24 hours. This is a good meme template. Also, shout out for Coos Bay, Oregon. Oh, that one's very good. That one's very good. This is a good meme, meme template. That was very cute in that image. <laughs> oh my god. This is great. 
these are great. Oh, Dire Dire Docks is another song that... God, I gotta fix this. There we go. All right. <laughs> is that all? Is that all the images? We got through them? Was that seven? Was that seven that quick? Yeah, Dire Dire Docks is another one that's... It's bad. It doesn't... It does a bad. Which I hate. I'm very mad about that. All right, here's an edit. I can't hear it. But I can read it. Stockpile your gazebo with tiny Eddie's papaya smothered seawater crackle. Ten fifty from Anisa says, "Hey Eddie, what food can the gang have from the Japanese restaurant slash stores?" So glad you all made it safely. I hope you have a great time. Thank you, Anise. And we did. We all. We all. I mean, aside from. Some of the sleep deprivation. We are we're all in one piece. Stockpile your gazebo with Tiny Eddie's papaya smothered seawater crackle. That would be s mm, that'd be something. When I think of seawater, there's no part of seawater that makes me want to d d eat it. I don't want to. I don't want to consume it. Papaya smothered is also another whole thing. I haven't had a papaya in like a long time. I think I've only ever. I I've probably only ever had a papaya like once or twice, at most. You know, another uh, another food I haven't had in a long time that I miss, that I should really get, is, um, like a mango. I like mangoes, and I don't get them very often. Anise, thank you. Oh, the, actually, uh, getting the fruit, the, the fruit in Japan is very, very good. You can also get special fruit, and the special fruit is very expensive. No desire to get special fruit, but normal fruit. We like normal fruit. Normal fruit good. Got 37 months from Aiden C 97 Aiden, thank you. Okay, I got, um, I got one more thing I'm gonna eat here. Special fruit. Special fruit. Oh, I say special fruit. There, there are, there's, there's fruit in Japan, um, and, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> there, there's like, um, they will grow fruit and make it the, the most perfect, perfect fruits. Like, they, they make perfect fruits. Where like they they do, they do crossbreeding or whatever, and they like get the right ones, and then they they it's all perfect. Like I don't know how to explain it other than like calling it perfect fruit is like that's that's what it is. It's literally like the best fruit you can buy. It's the best thing you can possibly buy. Pedigree fruit. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I'm talking like insane amounts of money, like insane, like probably what three digits for like a single piece of fruit, like over a hundred dollars for like you know, freaking apple or whatever. The Kobe beef of fruit is really good. That's a really that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, if you don't know about this, you Google, you Google, like, Japanese perfect fruit. You know. It's, you know, it's one of those things that, like, the, the, the scale for food, for, like, value and taste, is not linear. It's super logarithmic, right? So you have to decide where you're willing to, to go on that. Generally, I find that um, super expensive things are not really worth the the price but sometimes it can be fun to try it you know once i don't have any desire to try the perfect fruit but does it taste good it probably does i got some melon pond um mal really loves melon pond so when i was at the lawson i picked up a few um because i knew that that would be a nice surprise for her whenever i brought it back that was right i know my wife pretty well I love this stuff. It's very good. When I was dating Mal, 
Um, and even like a little bit into our marriage. If we were driving through Chicago, we'd stop at Mitsua. And the one at Mitsua, they had a melon pond that had chocolate in it. I freaking love that. That was good. Melon pond with the, with the chocolate is, is excellent. Yeah, this is this is basically just a sweet bread with a, a slightly crunchy, extra sweet top. It's real good. It's real good. And it's like, this is like less than a dollar. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, last. Is this going to 11:30 like usual? No. This won't go that long. But I have been live longer than I thought I would. I've been live for about two hours. I wasn't really planning on, on going live this long, but I've really enjoyed it. This is fun. I don't get to do these sorts of streams very often, right? Breakfast stream is similar, but it's like not the same. It's not the same as this. And I very rarely do a solo talking stream. And um, there, this is a different vibe. A very different vibe. Hmm. If you came in late, I will be doing breakfast stream not on Tuesday, but on Wednesday. Cause on, cause on Tuesday I will not be around. Like, I, I I can't do it on Tuesday. But on Wednesday, at some time, I don't know what time to be honest. Could be later. Might not be the normal time. On Wednesday, at some point, I'll do um, I'll do breakfast stream. So, yeah. Wait. So break. Hold on. Breakfast stream is at 9 a.m. So that's 10 p.m. Japan time. Uh, yeah. It might be. It might be pretty close to the normal time on Wednesday. It might start a little bit later. I'm not sure, but it might start on time. Because um. I will be, um, that's my birthday, Wednesday's my birthday, and uh, I will be traveling with Alex and Haley at that time, so they will, they'll probably be with me and probably be on that breakfast stream. This, this Japan trip is super interesting, uh, patrons know all about this because I've been talking about it for months, but the Japan trip is really interesting because there's like a bunch of different groups. There's a bunch of different groups doing different things in different parts of Japan at different times. So what happens is like, I will be with like some people for a bit and then I will be with some other people and I'm with some other people. So like, Lunar Pro says it was two, but okay. So technically not incorrect. <laughs> Months with an S. It's true, I did, I did, uh, here's the thing. I did keep it a secret a little longer from patrons than I probably normally would have, but I knew that if I did that, it was we were less likely to have someone accidentally spill the beans. Because the longer amount of time that people have to sit on that information, the harder it is. And I was like, two, two's good. Two is good. We can do two. Um. Yeah, so yeah, I won't see I won't see Mel on my birthday, unfortunately. But that's okay. She 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 will send me a message. And it'll probably say happy birthday. I'll see her like Will I see her the day after that? No. Maybe. I might see her the next day, if not the day after that. We're doing different things. Everyone's doing different things. There's not, um, there's not one group doing stuff. So, and there's things that Mal's doing that I'm like, I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> if if different people are doing different things, I can just choose. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna do this. So, it'll be fun. There, there is, there is quite a few times where. Uh, a lot of people are doing one activity though. Like I think, I think almost everyone is doing sumo. So like everyone will be at sumo or nearly everyone. Um, we're doing a, 
tra special train? <laughs> We're doing special train, and like special train, I think we'll have everyone or nearly everyone. Yeah. This is so good. Hmm. The best parts of Japan for me. Food. Like, genuinely good food that is genuinely cheap. And the availability is insane. Because, like, anywhere. There's so many convenience stores and obviously vending machines and stuff. That's fun. Um, I, I, I think I would... It would be a lie if I didn't mention, like, you know, video games and um, just the act of, like, going to game shops, um, book off and things like that and trying to find... I mean, that's that isn't terribly different from the U.S., but there are... But like, we don't have book off except for, like, a few cities in America. And there's so many book offs here that, like, finding old stuff in, in games, like... It's easier, and it's also um, cheaper, and that's really fun. Uh, culturally, the the politeness of the Japanese and the sense of order? I don't know how to word that. Like, there's... Every, everyone kind of knows what they're doing. Like, in America, I mean, people know. In America, people are unhinged. <laughs> like, at any given time, you could go anywhere and, like, someone is screaming or whatever. You know, like, that That doesn't happen. Like, there's, there's definitely um, a sense of, like, mutual respect for people and everything around you. So, like, that sort of thing, like, doesn't happen. And this, I'm not going to say, like, never, but, like, there is a sense of, like, order that is just everywhere. Um, and what's cool is that, like, you, unless you're a bad person, like, you want to contribute to that sense of order when you're visiting, you know? Because it's like, oh, you know, everyone, everyone is completely silent on the train. Okay, well, then I want to be completely silent on the train, because if you don't then, you know, you're the only person on a packed train that is talking. And it's like, eh, that's... You don't want to be that person. So, um... Yeah, uh... I, I like that. I like I like rules and, like, a, and a sense of order. So, um, that really a appeals to that part of my brain. Um... And then I guess as a little bonus one, I would say the fact that arcades aren't dead here. That's fun. Um, I know that's not like everywhere in Japan, but like especially in Tokyo, there's entire <laughs> entire blocks that are just arcades. And uh, I I'm hoping that I get a day at some point on the trip to honestly I would dedicate the whole day or most of the day to an arcade. I think Thomas would probably be down for that. Um, and just the whole day at the, the arcade. I think that sort of thing is really fun. So. I, I don't do pachinko, but I, there is something, I've walked into a pachinko place before because I, I knew, like I had a westerner's view of what the vibe was in a pachinko place, and I walked in and I was 100% right, and it was great. <laughs> it was great. It was just like, people like sitting at pachinko machines. Like, like, uh, older Japanese salarymen sitting at pachinko machines and smoking, and I'm like, cool. Cool, I love this. But would I do it? No. And I don't want to be around smoke, if I can help it. Sorry. It's just me, but this bread is so good. I will definitely do the Nintendo Store. And Fossix was telling me about some of the different... Because there's a new Nintendo Store. Because when we were last here, there was only two... I only ever went to the one. I only ever went to the one in... Um... No, wait! 
I've never been to a Nintendo store in Japan. I don't think I've been to any. I went to the one in New York. Yeah, it opened after I left. Yeah, I, w I went to the Pokemon Center. I went to the Pokemon Center. I haven't been to any Nintendo stores in New York, so it's they're all going to be new for me. But will I go? Yeah. Yes, I will. That will be fun for me. So. And I'll, I'm sure I'll go to the Pokemon. Haley is the Pokemon person in our group. Haley is a huge fan of Pokemon, so she'll want to go to the Pokemon Center. So if um, if nobody else wants to go, like I absolutely will, because I want to I want to see them again. And the the other times that I went to the Pokemon Center when we were here, they were very cool. So. I hope she gets a Suda Widow Plus too. I would buy it for her. Because I looked last time I was in Japan. Couldn't find it. We tried. That's her favorite Pokemon. If we find one, we'll get it. I should just finish this. I'm so close. Thing is, there's like a, what, 15,000 Pokemon now? And that's kind of hard, because like in a retail space, even a pretty big retail space, it seems like it would be hard to like have all of the Pokemon there, right? Like, you can't have plushies of everything. There's not enough room, even across multiple stores. So. Maybe... Maybe they cycle them? I don't know this knowledge, because I'm not intimately familiar with Pokemon, let alone pro Pokemon merchandise, but, like, I would assume that at this point, they've probably made official plushes of every single Pokemon. Maybe? And they just have to cycle them out? There's a Kirby store? I didn't know there's a, there's a Kirby store? There's a Kirby store? I don't care about the Kirby Cafe so much. The, the cat, like the, to me, like I've seen the cafe pictures and it's very cool, but I don't need to go there. But the Kirby store, I would go to the Kirby store. Hmm. <laughs> you don't want a dino Huh. Hmm. Interesting. We get little updates on on Cap. It's great. I um before I I, th I talked about this on um, breakfast stream, but I uh, before I left because we're gonna be gone a bit. And like Dan 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 and Jeff are taking care of Cap. Um, Dan might even stay at the house for some of that. But I put a um, a camera upstairs what broke oh can't fix that <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Chaz I have the gun but like if something is wrong with the gun I can't repair no gun I don't know how to do that I can play it again Let's see what happens we had 34 months from explosive Joseph 301 bits from Squid with the Chicory the Star Ant. I'll play it again and see if it works this time. Chicory Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. Okie dokie. <laughs> and 
Never mind. Fun. Well, jiggery is broken. That last bite, the last bite of melon pond got to my sugar tooth. So pissed about that. I survived the whole thing, it was fine. The very last bite was like, what if we made your tooth hurt real bad? I guess it's not, te it's technically not my tooth, right? It's my gums. Getting a little careless in Japan is what's happening. <laughs> what if pain? Uh, okay. I'm good. Things are solved. All is well. Uh, yeah, um, I, I installed a, I, I put the camera uh, in the house. So I, it, it, here's the thing. Here's what actually happened. What actually happened is that Kepler's auto feeder, I've learned all, all, all auto feeders are bad. They're all bad because we had an auto feeder and it was fine for like years. And then it was like not fine. And I was like, okay. So I started to do a bunch of research into auto feeders and my discovery was like, all of them bad. You know, it, they could be good, but they could be bad. And the, the, in terms of like reliability, they were all about the same. I mean, there were some that were worse than others, but they are all about the same. So after looking into all of it, um, Mironius says that's because all Internet of Things are bad. It, it's not, though. It's not, it's not connected to the Internet. So it's not, even, it's not even that. It's just like mechanically. <laughs> mechanically. Because, um, yeah, I don't have one connected to the Internet. So after doing all that research, I was like, okay, so the one we had actually was probably fine, you know, compared to everything. So I ordered another one, which I hate doing because I feel like, you know, if, if something breaks. But I did have it for like a few years, so I, I tried to tell myself, like, well, okay. So I got another one, and um, it was fine, relatively. It was relatively fine. But I did run into the problem again, and I think what happened is, from what I can, from what I can just discern the the mechanism that moves the thing expects your dry food your cat dry food to be spherical if your cat's dry food is not spherical it runs the risk of like getting stuck in some way and if you it's got like the reservoir that holds the food right the more food that's in there, the greater the pressure and the the increased likelihood that there will be a jam. So, <sighs> so that's bad. Um, and Kepler's food, which is like special vet food because he has to be on a special diet, is not a sphere. It is It has a shape. It's like a triangle or something. So, um, triangle bad, uh, but... Uh, when I got the new one, I, I discovered that, yeah, it, it seems to be largely connected to how much food is in the feeder. So I've tried to keep it like less than half full, which is plenty, especially when we're at home. But when we're not at home, I wanted to put more food in it. And like I could, I could ask Jeff and Dan to like refill it, but I was like, I'm just going to put food in it. And it is important that whether it was because of the food or if it just gets jammed, like I have to know if Kepler missed a meal. It's like real important to know that. So I have his, his cause he gets fed tiny meals multiple times a day. And if he misses a meal, like if it, if it gets, if it gets stuck, it's not going, it's not going to go off that time, but it's also not going to go off again until it's fixed. So I had to put a camera looking at his feeder because if I don't, if anything happens and it gets jammed, he'll just be like hungry and he won't get fed until like Jeff and Dan come over to give him his wet food. So I really need to know that he's eating. So I installed that camera and it's been, I mean, it's been a lot, but it's been great because uh, my, my wrist will vibrate and I'll look 
and it'll be it's it's just my little boy and he's on his chair he sleeps on his little chair and uh i know when his feeder is going to go off and i know what time that is like in japan and i can open up the thing and watch it and like okay we're good so and i can check it after too if i need to so yeah i just because like i have to i have to know and that was the thing i was like now it's like I, I I can't trust any of these auto feeders. I can't, and I can't ask Jeff and Dan to come over eight times a day. You know, I can't do that. I'm like, so I'm gonna get a camera and I'm gonna set this up so I just know. And that has been um, the best thing. That's been really good. Luna says, does it have a speech function to call for cap? It does, but I haven't used it because I'm worried that it might distress him. I don't know if it would, but I'm worried that if I call him, he might think, wait, he's in the house and look for me. So I'm like, uh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't use it. And maybe it wouldn't work that, like maybe he would just be like, oh, I'm comforted. But because I'm not sure, I just haven't done it. Um, but I can listen to him. Not that he makes a whole lot of noise. Um, but I can I can hit the button like and I can hear whenever like the the feeder and stuff goes off so yeah that's the other thing I thought about Luna says uh, true it also could risk kept messing with the camera if he can reach it yes and Kepler can reach anything in the house if he tries hard enough so I don't want to bring attention to the camera because if he goes and knocks it over then I can't see anymore and that's what I need to be able to do so yeah and it's hard because I'm gonna tell you, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> it's just a little pet parent thing. When you're watching your little guy and he's, and he's, and he's in his chair and he just cut up to stretch and yawn and he's just sitting there. It's everything, you have to have so much self-control to not hit the little button to just be like, hey buddy. Like you, you, you have to not do it. So I've just very much been, you know, trying to, I'm like, no, no, don't, don't do it. You don't know what he'll do. So I'm just waiting. I've had a lot of self-control. <laughs> I don't I don't want to interfere with the delicate balance of things. Yeah. But um I've been, I've gotten updates from from Jeff and Dan and, and he's doing well and Jeff's been able to, you know, get him get the medicine in him and stuff every day, so that's been good. We had forty one months from Super X forty. Appreciate it, thank you. Ah <sighs> Yeah. I, I I miss him. I always miss him. He's a sweet boy, but it is—it's kind of nice because, like, even like walking around and doing stuff yesterday, like I'll just—I'll get like a and I'll look, and it—I it, don't get the video feed on my watch, but it shows me a still image of what it, what it had, so I just get—I get like little tiny updates of like, oh, there he is. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's doing okay. So it's kind of fun. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say. Maybe this is not very interesting for people that take like public transit, but for me who didn't know, know this was a thing It's very very big. Uh, so when I was last in Japan um, If you wanted to uh, use the transit you there's a thing in uh, Japan called Suica It's a, you, you put money on your Suica card and then you tap it when you go through the station That's how you get around and we have things in the US that are similar What I didn't know What I didn't know is that that technology has come to the phone. So like on the iPhone, you can put the Suica card like on your iPhone. So you tap your phone with NFC. That makes sense to me. That I know. I'm like, that's a thing. I understand that that's a thing. The thing I didn't know is that at least on iPhone, you probably do this on Android too. You can set what they, they call it an express transit card. So you can choose one transit card to be your express transit card. So... If you choose, if you choose a card to be your express transit card, you don't have to open anything on your phone. It's amazing. Like you don't have to like open Apple Wallet and get to the card. You don't do that. It's just, it's it's like if your phone touches NFC, it knows that the default thing is Suica, and that is amazing. So when you're going through, you just tap your phone. And then it gets cooler because you can send it to your watch. So your watch has express transit. So now when I go to get on the train, I just go, but I don't have to touch my watch. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to get my phone out. That is so cool. 
That was not a thing last time I was in Japan. Um, and it's very neat. I love that a lot. I can just walk through and go beep. And when I do it, it shows how much money is on my Suica account. And then whenever I get off the train, I do it again, and then it shows how much it deducted and how much I have. That's very cool. And like that's that's a thing for just transit in general. So I'm sure that there's you know, places in the US that are using that. Not that we have a lot of places in the US that are doing a good job with public transit, but some, some are doing okay. So um, yeah, that's... That's neat. I didn't know that was a thing, and I just I went. I needed to say that because yesterday I was I was very blown away by it, and I was trying to tell Brandon, but I hadn't had enough sleep. I was like, Brandon, this this is so neat that you can do this, and you don't have to like ch you don't have to choose the thing. You just bleh. and he was like, Are you okay, Grandpa? And I was like, No, get me to bed. So. Um, yeah, that was just very neat, and I wanted to tell you about that because it blew my mind. I didn't know we had that. I did not know, because I, I knew that it was on the, the phone, but I, I was like, ah, okay, this will be convenient, but it's still going to be kind of a pain because, you know, I'm going to have to be like, oh, okay, and then do it. No, not at all. Amazing. Super amazing. I love it. It's so great. <laughs> Uh, 300 Bits of Jace Book says, another question, have you tried listening to City Pop during your time in Japan? It's an absolute vibe. I, I do like City Pop. Um, I, do, I haven't listened to like a ton of City Pop, but what I've listened to I've liked. Um, Alex and Haley really like City Pop, and Brandon really likes City Pop. So uh, sometimes when we're in the car, like if I, if I, if I take a, 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 like a longer uh, drive with someone, um, the way we'll do it is uh, we, we alternate who plays this, because I, everyone's different. Some people don't want anything to play in a car. Some people do podcasts. I'm music. I, there has to be music on in the car. And if I'm taking a long trip with someone, we'll alternate who plays what. Um, and we can do that a variety of ways. People can just tell me what they want to play. And sometimes we'll, we'll start like a Spotify jam sesh or whatever it's called. And uh, like Brandon, Brandon's the one that'll play City Pop. So I've, I've heard um, some of it, but I didn't listen to any, I didn't do any media at all on the way to Japan. Like I didn't watch any movies. I didn't play any video games. I didn't listen to any music, none. And it's a long, it's a long flight. I did, I did nothing. The only thing I did on the flight was, um, how? no, I did not read. Uh, the only thing I did on the whatever flight, I don't know how long it is, um, the only thing I did was attempt to sleep with some degree of success, or I ate. That was it. That was it. Like, I laid there and just tried to, I tried my hardest to sleep, because I was exhausted. Like, I was, I was so exhausted. And I needed to sleep, but you know, trying to trying to sleep was very difficult. And uh, you know, at, at some point, the airline brought out some food, and I ate the food. And then I, you know, I might be up for a little bit, and I might chat with whoever I was sitting with, because I moved around a little bit. Um, but uh, then I would just try and go back to sleep. But that was it. That was that was all I did. If I would have been rested, I didn't sleep the night before I left to Japan. Yay. Uh, if I would have been rested, then I probably would have done better, but I wasn't rested. I was exhausted, and trying to do all of that was very hard. Our flight, we had to get up in the morning at 3 a.m. So like, I just, didn't, I just didn't go to bed because I had things to do anyway. And um, by the time I could have went to bed, I wouldn't have had any sleep anyway. So I was like, all right, I'll just get some stuff up. So um, yeah, it was interesting. I hope on the way back that I'm, I, I should be, I should be rested, one would, one would hope, on the way back. So um, I'll probably watch some movies or something. Um, probably, it's a good, it's a really good time to watch some movies, especially because the, the screen technology and the planes, it's gotten a lot better. 
Like it used to be like bad, but now it, they're they're pretty high resolution. Like it's a it's a reason. I think it's a reasonable way to watch a movie. The downside is that if you don't have noise canceling headphones, which I don't, Mal does. But if you, if you don't have noise canceling headphones, you're watching a movie but also experiencing that faint background. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like your brain can filter it a little bit. I think if I ever did some shy, says, try explaining how far phone technology has come to yourself back in 2000. I'd look at myself and go, you're lying. That's not real. Are you on the drugs? In 2000... In 2000... Shoot, no, two, I was like, 2000... No, 2000 was before the rate... Because when I think of, uh, like, phone technology, I start with, like, the Nokia brick, and then there's, like, a little period of time before the, the Motorola Razor came out. And then we had a, just a little bit of time with like some uh, Blackberry crap before we get to iPhone and like modern smartphones. Um, so in 2000, I was on a brick. Yeah. So it's such a weird period of time too. Like once we get to modern smartphone technology, like things really, like this, this is incredible. Modern smartphones are amazing. People don't need computers anymore. That that would have that would have blown me away in 2000. You don't need most people don't need a computer. Most people just need a phone. God, what a wild world. What a wild world we live in. Anyway, <laughs> should people still know how to use computers? Y yeah, I mean, having I think having that knowledge is, is good. But do most people need one? Most people don't need one. Most most people now this group is in its special exception because y'all y'all are here and y'all fall into the category of people that are most likely to have a computer, but the truth is most people don't need a computer. Um, yeah, wild man, just so so crazy. Okay, I think I should start wrapping this up. We did pretty good. So we started at uh, 9, 9 p.m. your time, right? Ish? 9 p.m. your time, we did two and a half hours, so it's... Oh. No, we started at 8 p.m. your time. 8 p.m. your time, we did two and a half hours, so it's what? 10... It's 10.22. That's good! That's like... That's actually... That's approaching like a real stream. I had I did not think I was gonna stream this long. I really didn't. I just was, I was sorry. I was having too much fun. I just want everyone that that worries about me like working on vacation. I just like, just this was fun. I like this. This is very very fun. Um, and it's it's I think it's fun not only intrinsically but also to like let everyone know kind of like what's going on. Um, yeah. So heroes path. Uh, next week. Breakfast stream Wednesday, maybe on time, and then shoot. I, I'm trying to think if I can do a breakfast stream on Thursday. I have to mentally think through this. So Monday I do the thing. No, no, no. Tuesday, Tuesday I do the thing. Wednesday I do the thing. Thursday I'm back. In Tokyo. I think Thursday I can do breakfast stream. Yeah, I think Thursday I'll be set. It, there's always a possibility it could start a little bit later, because if we're doing late night stuff, like, my vacation does come first. Like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be like, I gotta get back to do, like, no. I'm, I'm going to do whatever it is we're doing. But, um, I would probably still stream a little bit whenever I would get back, so. It's, there's always a possibility it could start a little bit later. You're gonna take us around Japan. The, I mean, I have the ability to do that, but I, I, I do not want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy that's live streaming everywhere they go. I want to try and avoid that. <laughs> Doing a vlog where I can meticulous, meticulously edit things, that's fine. But to do things live, I, I'm gonna, I'll pass, I'll pass on that one. Alex has been filming a lot of stuff too. Uh, uh, he he wasn't even filming it for the vlog. He he's, he told me he's like I want to um I want to film things for myself. He was doing like really tiny clips, like four second clips, and he recorded doing and this is doing like four to five second clips. He recorded like twelve 
or 15, 12 to 15 minutes of footage. So you do the math on that. He was recording everything. And his idea was not really anything to do with the, the vlog. He was like, I want to do just a personal video for me of my vacation that has little tiny bits, snippets, so I can, like, see a bunch of stuff. And he, <laughs> and it's Alex, so he did it in the most convoluted Alex way possible, where he wrote a plug-in script for VLC so he could use VLC to, to trim the clips and then concatenate the whole thing into a video without re-encoding it. It's like, Jesus, Alex, just throw it into friggin' Premiere or Resolve or something. No, he couldn't get Resolve working on his computer. His computer is too old, so he's like, I'm just gonna do it this way. So he wrote a script, a plug-in script for VLC. And I'm like, my God. Okay. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> That's a way to do it. And like, his thinking is that he doesn't really need to trim much anything of the clips because he's trying to like make sure he has stuff in frame and then record for like four seconds and then stop. So he's just basically trying to like get it to all do it quick. And he showed it to me last night and I mean, I was impressed. I mean, he, he did that. But then also like some of the clips were out of order and he was like, oh crap. <laughs> he's like, I gotta fix that. <laughs> he just likes coding. That's. That's what he does. He likes to code. Uh, I did work a little bit on the plane. I brought. I told myself I wasn't allowed to work on my vacation, but I was allowed to work on the plane. So that is one other thing I did. I slept and I ate and I edited for about... It wasn't long. Probably an hour? I think I edited for an hour on the plane. Um, I brought the footage with me for March 12th and March 13th, and I was like, I'm allowed to edit these. So I edited the 12th, and then I, I was tired, <laughs> and I was like, I'm not doing the 13th. I don't need to do it, and I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to do that when I get back to Raleigh. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it wasn't bad. It wasn't it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah. Okay. So, sorry, I'm getting off track. Um, breakfast stream next week, Wednesday, and then Thursday is probably fine. Uh, Friday stream next week. I don't know. Maybe. This is a good final song. I'm glad this is happening. This is wonderful. Uh, yeah, I know there might be a Friday stream next week. Um, there might not. If there is, I would. If there is, I would hope more people would be around. But I don't know. It would have been great to show you everyone. But the thing is, this is technically our first real day in Japan, and everyone's so excited. They're like getting up early and like getting out there and doing as much as they can. And I'm like, nah, I'm gonna rest. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna chill. So I have plans this evening. I have uh, di Chaz made dinner reservations somewhere, and I'm going to be joining in on that. So I'll have to wake up and leave early enough to navigate to wherever that is. I'll figure it out. It's not too difficult. If you have an app that tells you which trains to take, <laughs> then it's fine. Then it's fine. <laughs> We've printed a bit some Facebook. It says, uh, Nintendo DS, yo no deal or no deal, no copy. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook. Did, is, did they release that in Japan? If they did, I will look for it. I will look for it. Is it, co is it copy or copy? Um... The thing I'm looking for in Japan, I, I really have to end this stream, but I, I'm having fun. The, um, the the thing I am going to look for in Japan, I'm sorry for pointing, is uh, I'm going to try and, I don't know if I'll complete, but I'm going to try and nearly complete the Japanese exclusive GameCube games. There's about a hundred um, GameCube games that the only region they were released in is Japan. Um, and in 2019, I got about half of them. I got about 50 games that I brought home. So I have about 50 left, and I'm gonna be going to, I mean, I'll go to game stores. Game stores are more expensive than book off. I'll be going to book offs and see if I can find them. I don't think I'll probably find all of them, but I'll try and find as many as I can. There's something very fun about having, um, I mean, to have those games and to feel like I'm kind of working towards an actually, like, legit 
internationally complete GameCube collection, because that's fun. But then also to know that like I bought them in person. That's neat. You know, I like that a lot, so. Sinisteria says you brought an extra suitcase. <clears throat> Yeah. Although, it doesn't cost me any extra on the way here, because what I did is I packed all of my stuff in a tiny suitcase, and I put the tiny suitcase in the big suitcase. So it was only one check bag. But on the way back, I can turn it into two check bags. And if for whatever reason I don't get enough to, to make two check bags, I can just take it back the way I had it. So, um... Yeah, that's uh, that's that's my plan. I think I did that last time too, because a lot a lot of people have when they have luggage luggage comes in sets where they'll come in like a check bag size and a carry on size. So I, I had everything that I needed for this entire trip. I fit into the carry on. Well, most of it was in the carry on, and then I had some of it like around the edges, so it wasn't just floating in there. Uh, so I do have some I do have some space. So if I need to, I can I can do that. I don't know how much a check bag is. A hundred dollars maybe. So if I can get away with not doing it, I will try to not do it. But if I need it, I do have access to it. So I don't know. I, my my suspicion is I'm either going to go home with just a handful of games and I won't need it, or I'm going to I'm going to go absolutely ham and find a bunch of stuff real cheap and be like and then just bring a bunch of it back. Yeah. And Mao, um, Mao has games that she wants me to try and find too. She'll be with me for a lot of the trip. She won't be with me for all of the trip. Um, but she wants me to find uh, a copy of Captain Rain Rainbow for Wii, which isn't, I don't think that's a very expensive game, so I should be able to find that easy. But then the other games that are on her list are all pricey. And I'm like, I'm probably not gonna buy these. And she was like, well, maybe you'll find them cheap. Because one of the things we're going to do is um, we have some flea markets we want to go to. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll look. But she wants me to try and find LSD, the game. There's a game called LSD. You're not going to find LSD in Japan. Jesus Christ, you go to jail forever. Uh, LSD, um, which is a PlayStation game by Love Delic. UFO, which is a Dreamcast game by Love Delic. And then, um, no, LSD's not by Love Delic. Sorry, LSD is not by Love to Lick. LSD is a different game. LOL, UFO, those are Love to Lick games, which I want to find. LSD, which is a PlayStation game that is bonkers. It's super bonkers, but it's it's so expensive. There's no chance. There's just no chance. It's not going to happen. But if I found it for cheap, I would get it. And then, um, what's the other game she wants? Oh, she wants Pepsi Man, which... Maybe. Maybe. Pepsi Man's not super bad. I think the last time I checked, it, a complete copy of Pepsi Man's like $100, maybe a little less. But um, I found a copy of Pepsi Man when I was in Japan last, but it was it was sealed. So it was a lot, and I was like, oh, I don't want that. Sorry. I don't need a sealed copy of Pepsi Man. As a concept, I don't need a sealed copy of any video game. <laughs> We got 300 bits from Shy. says, so how about the Japan exclusive Xenosaga 1 plus 2 game for the Nintendo DS? Um, sorry, I only vaguely remember that. One, hold on, let me dump typing this in the Google 1 plus 2 DS. Mmm, that's expensive. <laughs> Like, in the realm of video games and how video games have changed, I guess it's not that expensive, but it's still expensive. It looks like it's... Although the end's weak, so... Anyway, that's neat. That's a neat concept. I don't... I don't necessarily collect... I guess, I mean, I collect everything, but I'm not actively trying to collect DS. But if I saw it, in it, you know, it was reasonable. I saw eBay listings somewhere between um, 14,000 and 20,000 yen. So... 110 dollars to 150 dollars something like that north of 100 dollars but south of 200 dollars and again video games have changed now to the point where i'm like that's not that bad that's okay 
I'm still picking up Super Nintendo games that um, that they're like dirt cheap that I just never got. So like, uh, we'll go to limited run, and I won't buy any like new games. I won't buy any Switch games. I'll just I'll pick up like a five dollar <laughs> hockey game, <laughs> and the the people in there know me, and the manager knows me, and he's like, oh, you're still working on Super Nintendo. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> just buying buying really cheap stuff. Okay, all right. I'm gonna st I'm gonna stop for real. I'm gonna um, I'm planning on I'm gonna lay back down. I think I'm gonna sleep if I if I can. And I, I I'm starting to feel it, which is very good. That's very good. We like it when the body is tired. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and sleep for a few more hours, and then I'm going to get up and figure out where the heck everyone is and go to where they are. Yeah. And I really, I'm, I'm serious about this. I have a feeling, not to speak for anyone, but like I'm, I feel like I'll be in better shape than everyone else. Not Chaz. Chaz has been here a week, but like, people didn't get rest, man. They didn't get rest before the trip. They didn't get rest on the way here, and that they, they didn't sleep super, super long last night. And then they got up and they're like going, and I'm like, I'd rather, I'd rather get some sleep. I think Kaylee slept pretty well, actually. She told me she, she slept through the night really well, and she said she slept like a brick, so maybe she's doing okay. Okay, that is it. Thank you for being here. Um, I already uploaded the breakfast stream from yesterday to the VOD channel. Uh, I think I need to get it scheduled. Oh, and the other thing is I don't have my I don't have my Photoshop file, so I can't do thumbnails. There's no thumbnails. I'll do them when I get back to Raleigh. So the breakfast streams and the Friday streams and stuff, they'll they'll come out, but they won't have, they won't have thumbnails. <laughs> Not for two weeks. Uh, Y'all have a really good... Uh, oh yeah, Ray! Oh yeah, sorry, I'm in Japan so it doesn't feel... Uh, yeah, hold on, who's on the internet? Y'all can, we can raid. Uh, Y'all have a good raid message? Oh, lots of my friends are live. So many people are live. Yeah, give me a raid message, I'll send y'all somewhere. As naked as they would allow me to be is pretty good. That's pretty good. I do like that. Uh, how do I raid? Oh, I, oh, I'm like, how do I raid? I can raid from this thing, actually. Cool. This will work. All right. Naked as I was allowed to be. Steven fled the country is also good. You, either one of those. Either one of those is very fun. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to send you... I'm gonna send you to Jiggy today. It's been a little bit. It's been a little while since we sent folks over to Jiggy. It's been been a while since we sent folks to Jiggy, and um, I'm thinking of Jiggy today because of an upcoming event that will be announced soon. Uh, all right. Those are our raid messages. And it's tired arts. God freaking. <laughs> I need to uncheck it. I need to uncheck it. All right, folks. Uh, those are our raid messages. Y'all have fun. Um, I will. Oh, John's here. John says tomorrow. John, you're just like hiding and sneaking tomorrow. Tomorrow at a certain time. So sun, so for me, that's Sunday. Oh wait, oh shoot. John, I'm glad that you said something. Okay, yeah. Mm. I'm really glad you said something, John, because I'm in Japan and uh, I definitely have a reminder set for today. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I almost, I almost announced that, uh, like, 13 hours too soon. Maybe you shouldn't have said anything. Everyone who got the information 13 hours earlier. Because <laughs> I read what MC wrote, and I was like, okay, yeah, I got it. I put it in my phone, and, uh, yeah, I'm realizing now that I'm not in the time zone I was in. So, uh, yeah, I will change that. 
and do that tomorrow. Yeah, okay. All right, raid messages, as naked as they would allow me to be, and Stephen fled the country. Uh, folks, have yourselves a wonderful f weekend. I'm living Saturday. Saturday's great. Um, have yourself a good weekend. Do something for you. I will see you back on Wednesday Eastern morning for a one-day delayed breakfast stream. That's the plan. Oh, my God. I... Uh, Hold on, I gotta do it from here. <laughs> Son of a gun. Hold on, I, I got it. Is that it? I just tried to, sorry. <laughs> I just hit raid. I tried to, I tried to start my raid inside. Hi, uh, Brandon. Oh yeah, we got coffee. I'm literally raiding. I'm about to be there. Like I didn't intend to, but I was having so much fun, I just didn't stop. I've been up for almost three hours. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not expect to, to do that. Brandon's here. Brandon's here to get coffee. I just, I, I'm not logged in on the computer, so I can't raid from the computer. So I have to do it from my phone, but I tried to type raid Jiggy in Jiggy's chat. So then, so then it came up and it was like, you can't do this. And I was like, oh, oops. So now I gotta go, hold on, now I gotta go over here. You're doing great. I hope Jiggy appreciates this. This is a lot of work. <laughs> All right, there we go. I know. Now it should be go, okay, now it's starting. Now I'll go back. Jesus Christ. I know, it's a whole thing. I'm gonna go back. I, I didn't get an ad. It's good. All right. Um, oh, but I didn't, oh. What? Well, I'm not logged in here, so I can't do the thing of, like, raid now. So now I have to wait for the entire, like, full one human minute to go away. So y'all are going to be here for another 40 seconds. Anyway, Brandon, what did you do today? I woke up. Yeah. I got dressed. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I thought you were, like, out. No, 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 I didn't go out with anyone. I was like, I want time to, like, decompress. That's why I screwed up, like, the first part of your stream. Because I was home. Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't even get up, like, this morning and do coffee? No. Okay. No. I went to sleep at, like, 3 a.m. yesterday, local time. Mmm. Okay. So are you planning to go out now and meet yeah. up with folks? Yeah, and then we'll be out for dinner, I think. So. Okay. But I can hold up for a second if you want to join. Or you can just sleep. It's whatever. Yeah, I, I, I think if I sleep, I will sleep, and I could potentially get two, so like an additional like two to four hours. Okay. And I think I'm gonna do that, unless unless you really want me to go with you and like help navigate or something. I feel okay navigating. I just oh they're gone now. Oh they're gone. <laughs> oh good. Um, I'm gonna spend the entire time like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how do I go back to mine? Try alt back. Back? Oh, that works too. Okay. This computer is loaded up with songs that are not supposed to be on, so it's gonna be is fun. Is it like the Con inverse? Like every single it's, it's every not, single song you uncheck is actually checked. No, it's one? just that I haven't done it. It's okay. not up to date. Yeah. So like, was, Dire Dire Docs shouldn't play, but it played like three times. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> he was playing Japan. And count to seven. That's then what people are saying. Whether or not you 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 want to follow my channel or not. Okay, let, I'll do it with you. One, two. Can you believe that he thinks it's Friday? Three, four, what an idiot! <laughs> Imagine thinking it's Friday. <laughs> Can't believe okay, this. Two. They did it. See, if nobody followed, then I was gonna yell, but... <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you run your streams that way? I was gonna Karen the hell out of this. 
Jiggy's Jiggy's got Jiggy's got like a like John, a like I'm a style. The one that plays Hello I like Kitty the multi derby. I know. I do too. Like he he's got all the stuff set up. So the other thing I do it, I, I, I like about Jiggy's stuff is like Jiggy Jiggy like knows about cameras and Hello like his strings look good. Yeah. Like the 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 cameras look good that and the the lighting looks good. He has that figured out. Which I always appreciate. Yeah. You got something figured out here. Yeah. I, I mean I have I, I've done I've done laptop streams from a cinema camera, but this time not no. this time no no we're doing we're because do, now I can do this. <laughs> no. Everyone no, loves that. No cinema camera because I can make it bad easier. Yeah, I can I can wiggle the maybe laptop screen. Maybe they'll yeah, I probably got sick just for that. Um, all right, this we got thirty five months from Andy. And also eight months from Just Light Dark. Thank you all. And uh, that's it. Earthquake Simulator. Well, we're in Japan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, they have they they happen all the time. I they happen know. all the time. Like like little ones happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not wishing. That's kind of that's how I received the message Sorry. first. <laughs> Sorry. Earth earthquakes are extremely common. Yeah. Okay. Extremely yeah. common. So. Yeah, Fosix is like. I mean. Yeah. Mao actually installed an app that just tells you when... Yeah, they have a new technology that, like, preemptively warns you. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Like, do you get a push notification, like, in 35 seconds, <laughs> there will be an earthquake? I don't know. I mean, like, the, 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 like, the, whatever, the Amber Alert system, but not yeah. Amber Alert. Like, that, they have that. So, like, when we've been in Japan oh, before, okay. when, we, we, when we were in Japan before, like, all of the, our phones were going off, even though we were from America... And it was like, hey, earthquake. Oh. And we were like, oh. And then and then, then there was an earthquake. And we're like, oh, oh, okay. This is just a thing that happens. So. All right. Uh, that's it. We're done. Um, Y'all have a good weekend. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.